All right. We are back. W, how you doing today? Here we go. The story continues. Hmm. Can you hear me? Okay. I I, I didn't see my uh, my mic moving on the uh, on OBS Studios. I had to make sure that you could hear me. Um, to start off today, I have some news. Uh, I have some bad news and I have some good news. Some very good news. Um, so the bad news, right? We'll start with that. I am not going to be able to live stream tomorrow. Uh, I picked up a shift at work, so I'm going to be working all day tomorrow. That's that out of the way. However, the good news is because I picked up the shift tomorrow, I have Thursday, the date of the announcement that War Horse Studios has off, which originally I was going to be working, which means... I will be live streaming on Thursday. We're going to do a little bit of Kingdom Come Deliverance gameplay. And we're most likely going to tune over and live stream the event where they uh, where they announce it. So we'll go on over to YouTube. We'll do a little bit of Kingdom Come. We'll continue this challenge run. And then we're going to log on over to the Warhorse YouTube and I'll have my live reaction. We'll be able to watch it. We'll be able to discuss what we think is coming. So, bit of bad news, good news. But I mostly think it's good news. I was really hoping that I wouldn't miss the actual announcement. And now it looks like I won't. So, take that however you will. But, uh... Yeah, I'll definitely repeat it again, for sure. Uh, I just wanted to to start it off, but uh, yeah, I'll definitely, I'll probably say it more towards the middle and towards the end again. But for now, um, yeah, I was just I was really excited when uh, when the opportunity came around. Somebody wanted a uh, to swap shifts at work, and I was like, well, it is in the middle of my streams, but. As a result of me taking that shift, um, I work tomorrow, but then I have uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday off. So I'm like, well, you know, it's a little bit of an interruption, but sounds like it worked out perfect for you. Hey, Yeti Spaghetti, it worked out perfect for me too. I'm glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. So, yeah, for now, we'll go ahead. Uh, I'm just messing with my mic for now. We'll go ahead and continue the run. Olaf, uh, I'll say it quickly. Uh, I will not be live streaming tomorrow. I have work tomorrow. However, because I took a shift tomorrow, I'm off Thursday. So we'll be able to live stream uh, the reaction from Warhorse. So good news, bad news. Nothing tomorrow. Thursday, however, I will be live streaming. Now, where we left off yesterday. Um, I believe we had just, hang on, didn't we? Okay, we still have the polearm. Good. We still have the polearm. That is good news. Uh, let me see what else. Do I have anything in here? Okay, we can sell that to Peshek. Some stuff like that. Alrighty. Where did we leave off? I believe we still have to steal. Oh, I know exactly what it was. Uh, we had just collected 70 rabbit meat. Pretty much the legal way. We bought our way to it. Um, I believe we handed it in. However... I don't remember what he actually wanted. 
Alex, that is. I don't remember what. Oh, that's right. Okay, no, I remember. I remember. I was just kidding. Uh, it was the boar meat with the tw with the five lapotas. Uh, that's the mushrooms. So we need to get 25 boar meat and the mushrooms. And there's a spot up here that we can actually do it. And we were gonna attempt to do it with the pole arm. We're gonna try to hunt without our inventory. And last but not least, we also have to get Hanush's uh, book. So there's that. And then we can continue with the main quest a little bit. I do want to kind of get to Privis Lovitz today. For sure, I, I want to get to Privis Lovitz today. See if that's possible, if that's doable. And we'll kind of go from there. Was it the roe deer? See, I don't like to get them too early because I feel like whenever I do, he never asks for it. And then it, ju it just ends up spoiling. Like, I'll go out, I'll get red deer and roe deer meat and then, you know, boar meat. And he asked for the lapotas as well. So it's like I can't turn in any of it. How am I going to smuggle the pole arm? Ah. That's kind of why I want to get there today. That's uh, it's an yeah. interesting way. Somebody told me yesterday, though, that it was doable. Now, they didn't tell me how it was doable because I want to figure it out. <laughs> but as long as it's doable, that's all I need. Okay, there's a yeah. boar. Yeah. Oh, come on. Hit the tree. Okay, that got it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That was on me. That was on me. It's an elusive yeah. goddamn boar. Yeah. Oh, come on, you bastard. Oh boy. Okay, you know what? The strat is going to be let him get a little bit far away because right now I'm just trying to go in circles. I can't really get a run up on him. And that's why I'm missing. Why is he also swinging out that way? He's not actually swinging where I'm aiming. Yeah. That's a bit of a problem. Yeah. Okay, so like always, I gotta kinda get used to... I gotta get used to the timing here. Oh, come on, that... Yeah. That was horse shit. That should have been mine, come on. Getting fucking reamed here by a yeah. boar. Oh, you bastard. Yeah. Again. Yeah. There we go. Jeez. Okay. I, I just had to stop stabbing it. I guess I just had to slash. The, the stabs were just not working. Okay. So we need 25. We need 25 of this. And then the five look. Potas should be not that far. And you know what? I'm I'm actually gonna take 50 because I know he's gonna ask for 25 more. Sneak up to them on foot. I we can't sneak with the uh, with the pole arm. Oh no, we can. Okay, but it's gonna be a very slow swing. Like that's our swing, and I feel like it's gonna run away before we can actually hit it maybe if we have to kill another one i'll definitely try it but i know the pole arms aren't exactly the the fastest way because you can't even stab with them that's the only unless you're in combat 
that's the only slashing animation that I have, and I can't sprint. A lot of downsides to using pole arms. Some upsides, but a lot of downsides as well. Now, the Laportas should be around here. I've picked them up here before. Hey, Jay, what's going on, man? How you doing today? Can't you stab? No, I cannot. Not unless we're in combat. That's that's my stab animation right there. Hey, Rahan, thanks for stopping in, man. How you doing today? Yeah, W, in combat we can, but not outside of it. Oh, here we go. Oh, Jesus, I'm an idiot. We were right next to it. There it is. So that's one. We need four more. And they're, they're usually all in a crowd. All together. Hmm. I am doing fantastic, AJ. Thank you for the well wishes. Doing great. Be doing even better if I could find the rest of the Lapotas. Not gonna lie to you. But we'll get there. Get some groceries for dinner. What is on the agenda for dinner tonight, Harahan? All right, I'm going to mount my horse and see if I can't. See if I can't find those goddamn mushrooms a little bit quicker. I know they're around here somewhere. How fucked up is that? That they, they ask for boar meat and mushrooms and they put boar there. They put one fucking mushroom there. There's more there. There's more there. Stop thinking like that. Stop thinking like that. Positive, happy thoughts. Okay, so there's that. Maybe it's on the back side. I know I picked them up here before. That's that's the port. Um uh, yeah. You know what? Maybe up here. Yeah. We'll go to a different area. Yeah. This was like as difficult as finding those rabbits yesterday, remember? It's like yeah. usually they're absolutely everywhere, but somehow we uh Oh. Is that going to be an ambush? Nope. Okay. Yeah. That's a, a common ambush location right there for bandits. Yeah. I know there's that bandit camp right there. We just need the mushrooms. Oh, there's one. There's one. Milk. Could go on and on, but lasagna? Trying some soy based lasagna. Sounds interesting. Honestly, I mean, there's uh I I don't even know where you would start with that. Me personally, but I I wish it goes well. Definitely sounds interesting. Oh, Olaf, yes, that would be huge to actually be able to interact with people off the back of your horse. Yes, it is such a pain in the ass or while they're mounted. That's even more infuriating is uh, who, who here has gotten mad when they're towards the end game and you have to go around and talk to all the nobles 
like Hanush, Hans, Divish, and they keep going back and fucking forth from all the different camps on their horses, and you can't talk to any of them. You just have to, like, trot behind them very slowly until they get to the next camp and dismount, and you can't talk to them to progress any stories, and then same with you. You can't talk to anyone off the back of your horse. That's a big one. And I hope they fix that. I'm I'm surprised that's not even a mod somewhere. Like, you would think that that would be the first one is to be able to interact off the back of horses. Uh, boy, we're just picking these up one at a time, aren't we? Uh, I fucking hate those birds. I fucking hate them. Right. Let's not get involved with the bandits just yet. I just need the mushrooms, guys. You know what? I have an idea where else they might be. I just... <sighs> yeah. These quests can be easy, or... A pain, and I guess today they're just gonna be a pain. I'll still keep an eye out for mushrooms. Probably an ambush up ahead. Because I don't think we had one on the way. Yeah. Oh, wow. I guess we're lucky in regards to the ambushes. We're just unlucky in the hunting mechanics. Yeah. Mushrooms aren't spawning for us. It's okay. I believe there is some by the farm uh, down the road from Herman's a little bit. I think I've found them there before. We streamed the tape. Yes, yeah, so AJ, um, right at the very start, I had announced that, uh, so unfortunately we're not going to be streaming now that we have a few more streamers, I'll, I'll say it again. So we're not streaming tomorrow. Uh, I picked up a shift at work and I'm not going to be able to stream tomorrow. However, the shift that I actually picked up means that I get Thursday off, which is when the announcement trailer is going to be revealed, which means yes, I will be streaming now on Thursday. We'll continue this, uh, playthrough and write it. 2 p.m. my time, whatever time uh, the um, trailer drops for you, it'll be around that time. Um, yeah. Or no, it's 1 p.m. my time. I'll have to look again, but the stream is going to start at the exact same time. I know it's going to go right through uh, when the announcement trailer is going to be, but yes, I will be live streaming it, doing my reactions. We can chat about it, talk about it, and then... Uh, continue this playthrough as well yeah. panther what's going on yeah how you doing today good to see you yeah. okay so that's a different kind of mushroom that's not the lapotas we're looking for but it is hopeful that there's mushrooms in this area that means they do spawn yeah the bolus salitas uh, Lapotas shouldn't be far though. Shouldn't be an art are two different things though. The other pain in the ass thing, they spoil fast as shit. So if I don't get a move on getting those mushrooms, we're going to be shit out of luck. There we go. That's one. That's three. Oh yes. Okay. No, I don't need the boluses. Fuck it. We'll get those out of the way. There we go. Got the mushrooms. 1 a.m. for you? Oh, man. Well, I mean, in my defense on that one, it's going to be 1 a.m. for you regardless. Uh, whether you're watching my stream or whether you're watching uh, uh, yeah. War Horses stream. So that I don't really set. Yeah. I don't really set the rules for. All the rest of it you can blame me for. Just meowing, you know. 
as panthers do, huh? There we go. Uh, that's the vagabond. Where's Alex? Oops. Is that Alex? Or is that Tonda? Who is that? That's Tonda. I thought he said that people were going to be waiting in the... Oh, I guess it is kind of late at night or later in the afternoon. Hmm. Got to find Alex now before he goes to bed and before my mushrooms spoil. Oh, that might have been him. Nope. Steven. Just beg her. Yeah. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Really? We were fucking taken out by by an awning. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. What are you playing at? Where the hell is Alex? This is Yeah. Oh. Put that weapon away. Put the weapon away. Trucky, what's going on, man? How are you? Thoughts on what we're getting Thursday? I think it's going to be a direct follow-up. Yes. Now, whether a few years have passed, what I think it'll be... Uh, uh, again, so I have not seen the trailer. I am not under NDA. I don't know. This is just what my personal thoughts or maybe what I would do if I was... Um, if I was Warhorse and what I think would be cool. Uh, what I think it'll be is it's going to pick up where it left off with Hans and Henry uh, yeah. going, you know, to, to Burgau Castle, or to Trotsky Castle, to meet with the uh, the noble yeah. to see what side he's going to side on. Um, along the way, I think it'll be yeah. cool if they get, like, I don't know, either ambushed or they have, like, a little mini skirmish. That's going to serve as yeah. your tutorial to introduce you to whatever new game mechanics there are. I'm hoping yeah. that some of Henry's skills convert over and they just make combat in general harder. Um, and I, I've said this before, kind of like what they did in um, God of War, Ragnarok. Yeah. Like all of all of Kratos' skill carried over, but they made enemies a bit harder and they introduced new gameplay elements, new weapons. Um so with that and then hopefully I'm really hoping it kind of either stops there or it slowly leads up to the Hussite Wars because I feel yeah. like that's where we're going to get a really big battles is in the as a part of the Hussite Wars which I believe start in 1415 so about 12 years after the start of this story and who knows maybe Henry has a kid maybe Henry uh, dies in the battle like from there they can do whatever they want but I think that the way they're gonna get the most action out of it is covering the Hussite Wars because that's gonna be your scene for some big battles and we know that these characters are all alive during that time I, I believe Hanush and Radzig all die in about 1419 so it could very well be a prequel but see I don't know if it'll work as a prequel um, maybe, maybe if it follows Martin, but I think people are so attached to Henry. I don't know what the reception of that will be. It very well could be a prequel, but I, I'm not, I'm not saying that it won't be, but I don't know how popular that would be if it wasn't a direct continuation compared to if it was a direct continuation of Henry and Hans. Like that's the one that everyone wants to see. That's the one I want to see anyway, is Henry and Hans continuing. Well... And see, as a prequel, something like that follows Martin's story or something that follows, um, I personally, I'm going to keep shouting this off a, uh, uh, off a mountain is I want to see Father Godwin's, uh, story. I, I really do. I think he's a, uh, he's a very, 
interesting character and you know part of it he was uh involved in uh one of the wars so i personally would definitely play as father godwin we'll get lots of supplies for this another order the master armor is mounting a banquet and he wants to serve venison and cream sauce oh, right i'll get it hunt down a deer milk a cow and skim the cream <laughs> just the venison will do thanks well, so Panther, you are correct. You are correct. But here's the difference. At the end of Red Dead Redemption, spoiler alert, on the first one, if you have not played Red Dead Redemption before, earmuffs, clo close your ears. Uh, John Marston dies. So it's not like they were going to be continuing the story anyway. I guarantee you, if uh, if to this day, and you're right, Red Dead Redemption 2 was a prequel and it was absolutely amazing. Um, but if John Marston was still alive, there would have been an outrage to not continue a story. I feel like it would have been a little bit of a different initial reception had John Marston survived and they didn't do anything with him. He just rode off into the sunset. And we never heard from him again. Now, because he was, you know, that story kind of wrapped up nicely... That story ends, and if you remember, um, John Marston was still a pretty big part of the first one. You play the entire uh, epilogue as him. So there was still a lot of fan service in that one. I don't know if they can get away with, you know, because Henry's in his early 20s, maybe 18 or 19 at the start of this story. Um, you know, is anyone really intrigued as playing as five-year-old Henry if we're following Martin? I don't know. There's, there's a lot they can do. I don't want to speculate too heavily, but that's what I think that they will do. Um, I think that they can include a Martin, you know, do like a cutscene where maybe, you know, how, how Henry talks to Teresa and that, then she recalls, um, yeah. what her events of Scalettes. I think it would be cool yeah. if Henry is able to interact with like Radzig and he's like, you never told me about you know martin and it kind of cuts to a cut scene where it shows him you know how he learned his skills what what prompted him to move to Prague, you know why he moved to scallets like that would be fucking amazing it would be a big dlc they can even charge probably like a like a phantom liberty dlc like they yeah. just released for cyberpunk it's like a six hour story and it was 30 bucks i'm fine with that if it's an add-on to the second game and you get to see what what martin's origins are Please give Henry mother uh, Henry's mother a name, please. <laughs> Don't just call her mother. Um, yeah, that would be awesome. John was trash. Yeah. <laughs> Don't blame him. No one showed him how to swim. I know that is that is so classic. The second he touches any water, he just instantly dies. I do get a full trailer up in the. Quite Henry. Henry's come yeah. to visit us. Hanush dies or something. Maybe, yeah. yeah. If Hans takes over. See, this is what's fun. I love kind of like speculating. I really do. Because it's like that the anticipation of the unknown. It could be anything. Right now, it could be anything. Once the trailer is revealed, it kind of gives us some direction, which is even more fun. But... Right now, this kind of speculation period of, like, maybe it'll be a cowboy space simulator. I don't think that, but it's just, it's fun to theory craft. We do have to be careful, because it's about to be nighttime. It's imminently going to be nighttime. Which means the ambush. Yep, here comes an ambush. Yep. No kidding. What are they? And can we take them? Uh, oh, God. Oh, no. 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 And they have a dog. Yeah. We need to get out of here. There's no way we win that. Yeah. They've got archers, they've got a dog, and they're humans that are heavily armored. There's no way we win that. No way in hell. We gotta break that encounter. 
Which I don't know if we'll be able to with that fucking dog. Because the dog can actually keep up with us. We just got to go deeper and deeper into the woods. I don't want to die there. Alright, I don't hear the dog anymore. I think we're good. Yep, we're good. Okay. Let's get that yeah. red deer meat. Maybe yeah. we can take him out on the way back, but... I, I, I'm not really going to stand much of a chance against archers and dogs, especially with no armor. Because if that dog gets a hold of my arm and they shoot me, that's it. GG's. Game over. Thanks for playing. Yeah. Yeah. What's down here? This is a little camp? Oh, this is that bandit camp. Oh, damn. We really, really came full circle on that one. By the way... Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned that, Olaf. Can we please mention today, I'd like to get this out of the way early, how much fucking better Kathanka is than Pebbles? Kathanka not only got hit by an arrow directly, it was getting chased down by a dog and a bunch of humans and did not run away. Did not buck, oh well no, it bucked me, but it didn't run away and I was able to just get right back on it. Pebbles would have been fucking gone absolutely gone so yeah Kathanka definitely with the win there oh did I not even swing yeah. I swung that time but I just yeah. missed Gotta get right beside to see the, the deer are a lot faster than the boar. It's gonna, uh, and then they turn as soon as you get close, and I'm pretty soon I'm not gonna be able to see fucking shit. Come on, you. Come on, you. Damn. Okay, um, yeah, we're not gonna be able to see shit. I, I think I'd rather go during the day. It's, it's gonna mean that my boar meat spoils, but we can do something with it. It'll be a little bit more gold. Uh, I'm going to run back into town. We're going to cook it so it's worth just a slight bit more. And we're going to hit up the uh, the taverns. Oh, God. Another ambush? Or is it that same one that they just reset? Is it just him? It's just the one guy. Yeah, yeah fuck that guy. Okay. We'll take that all day. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. And he's got a pole arm. We're gonna take that off him once he's uh once he's all done. Yeah. Nope, missed that one. Flew back around. Yeah. Oh come on, how do we miss that again? I could have sworn it's the timing. I've just yeah. got to get used to the timer. Got him that time. Yeah. See, he's a bit more heavily armored. So it's going to take a few hits, but... Yeah. Oh! Was yeah. that it? Do we get him? Yeah, I think we got him. That or he surrendered. And that's a spear. Oh, that's awesome. We're trading that out. Yep. Thank you. That's an upgrade right there. Spears yeah. have such a higher stab. A much higher stab. So that yeah. is definitely an upgrade. Now I got to orient myself as far as where the hell I am. It's the only that's yeah. the other bad thing about having pole arms only is I can't really take out. You know what's going to be so useful yeah. is the Nighthawk potion. Yeah. I can't. You guys can see a little bit better than me, but I can't really see anything on my monitor. Yeah. Not much anyway. Yeah. 
<laughs> Michael Aguilar, what's up, man? How are you? How you doing today? Yeah. Good to see yeah. you. Thanks for stopping in. KCDVR game would be a lot of fun. Yeah. It would be a whole lot of fun. Uh, yeah, KCD and VR would be awesome uh, to be able to kind of, you know, have that. Uh, what was that yeah. game where you have the sword and everything? Well, Skyrim and VR went pretty good. Yeah. Skyrim and VR was was good. It was, was kind of glitchy at the start, but it went absolutely amazing. Glad to catch me stream. I'm glad to catch you on my stream. I appreciate it. Thanks for the support, buddy. He's so yeah. pissed. Well, see, so I thought that too, Panther, that it was an April Fool's prank. But the thing is, I don't yeah. think that they would follow up on not April Fool's. Like, at that point, it's not a prank. At that point, it's just going to piss people off. So I don't think it was an April Fool's. Uh, I think it's pretty legit. Olaf, yeah, I would have to put it in a pot. So it's not, it wouldn't be a traditional... Yeah. Traditional way to take it. Here we go. We got back and ambushed almost fucking immediately. We're we're not even gonna take that encounter. We got our we got a good pole arm. We got everything that we need. I'm not even gonna stop for that. Fuck them. Who needs them? Shit, it's getting so late at night right now. I don't know if we'll even be able to go to a tavern. I'll be honest. I, we might be shit out of luck. Yeah. Uh, Panther, why do you say it's a genuinely uh, bad... Uh, bad and sus time for a game reveal why is that why do you think that because i think it's legit i mean um now i don't think that they're going to release it tomorrow so but a game reveal you can do whenever you want just to reveal what you're actually working on and stuff uh i i don't i don't know that there's a bad time for something like that But, I mean, I, I do think that they're going to probably wait until, you know, maybe the holidays. November time frame hey, before they God. actually release it. Or maybe even sometime next year. I mean, shit, look at Grand Theft Auto 6. They revealed that for a, for a game that's, you know, yeah. a year and some change from being released. I think they released that in November. November, December. And it wasn't going to be even released until 2025. So... Yeah, Manor Lords does have a lot of focus, but it's not the full release of Manor Lords just yet. So there is a lot of coverage on it right now, but it's not uh, it's not blown up like I thought it would. And that's only because, yeah, it's still only the, the partial partial release yeah. of it, which is which is understandable. It's a big game. And from what I heard, it's all made by one person. Like, I, I don't know if that means developed or what that means, but that's something that i heard which is incredible i've seen the gameplay of it the fact that one person made all that is insane what else you sir there's no way it's an april fools zero chance i refuse to believe that they would that they would do that kind of april fools on us they've done other april fools but Something like the reveal of their next game. I'd like to discuss the price. Ain't no way. Why not? Yes, I do play Bannerlord. 
we agreed? We're getting there. What did you say? I don't. We're just going to sit there on our the same numbers note. There we go. It's more gold. I'll take it. Pick this back up. Yeah, I haven't I haven't covered any banner lord on the channel. Pretty much the only thing I've covered on the channel is Kingdom Come Deliverance so far, but um that is something that I that I plan to expand, you know, eventually when I feel like the timing is right, when I've started running lower on my ideas for uh for Kingdom Come Deliverance, I'll probably expand out to other games, but for now I'm still having a blast playing these, so I'll stick to KCD for now. Hey, Miles, thank you so much for subscribing, man. I appreciate it. And Arthur, thank you for subscribing. Welcome, welcome. How many hours uh, in Bannerlord? Probably about close to about 450, maybe 500. I'd have to check. But it's a good amount of hours. It's, it's definitely not... Not anything to scoff at. Nowhere near as much as this game, I will admit, but it's it's definitely a, a good bit. I'd say maybe I've done World Conquest three or four separate times. Uh, I, I, I know for a fact that I did it once with Kuzite, once with the Batanians, and once with one of the Empires, and I can't remember which one, whether it was the Northern or Southern Empire. I, I was never a huge fan of the Western Empire. Don't know why. Um, and then once with Kuzai, I mean, that one was probably the easiest one. Just loading up with Khan's Guard and fucking trouncing everyone. Um, yeah. And then I think I started one with Blandia and never, never ended up finishing that one. Blandia was such dog shit. I was just trying to do like a Viking. I was I was just trying to do a Viking one and they just I don't know, they just got fucking trounced. <laughs> I think that that killed a lot of my anticipation for wanting to to do any more world conquests for a little while. Sturgia. Yeah, Blandy is only really good for uh for the crossbows, but if you ever try to um uh melee with them they're absolute shit. There we go. Get some of our I'd like to nourishment back. Hopefully we don't look like quite as big a hobo. I'm sure There we go. Still got our pole arm. I wonder if early morning would be better yeah. to try and steal that book from, um, yeah. Blandia does have cab, but I never found their cavalry quite as powerful as either the cons guard or the empire with the, um, oh God. Hey, lad. What, uh, was it the equite? The equite in the, uh, the empire. Those always pretty much trounce, uh, Vlandias. They have some good ones, but yeah, I wasn't able to do a world conquest with them. Let's try to steal that book. I want to finish out Peshek's quest line. And last time that guard was right there. Elite cataphracts. That's it. Thank you, Panther. That's the ones. It has been a minute since I've played, but I've I put my fair share of Banner Lord hours in. That I can guarantee you. Hopefully that guard is gone, or he's in a position that we can choke him out. Well, Hanush isn't there, so that's already a, a plus. He's not going to be in his room. Let's see. So that's the door. Oh, no guards. Yep, we're going for it. We're going for it. 
Uh, I don't like that starting position. W, I genuinely hope so. That was that was in my uh, my KCD two wish list that I wish that they would actually start utilizing some more cavalry units, especially since the humans were like renowned for their horse horseback warfare. They were like up there with the Huns as far as uh, as far as hit and run tactics with um, mounted archery and mounted warfare. So that I feel like was one of the bigger omissions of KCD one was the fact that there wasn't more mounted mounted warfare and the fact that it's it's not that it's non-existent. I mean, we're kind of doing a run right now with mounted warfare, but it's very janky. Like the hitboxes are kind of off. The the movements are kind of awkward. The swings are awkward. And yes, I think they will include crossbows too, uh, Sarctic. I think that's going to be because they actually they tried to include crossbows in this one. And see, they didn't forget about them. There is a skill tree for crossbows in this game in the files of this game yeah. if you try to um if you go into console commands and you try to level up skills there is crossbows but they never implemented them i think it was either the mechanics wouldn't let them or something but yeah there's there's quite a bit in the game files of this here in fact let me show you uh, it's not gonna mess with the run at all because it's console commands and technically i'm not gonna actually change anything but check this out so we'll pause it let's see nope that's not it nah i have to look up the console command for it but anyway it's under the bows category and it doesn't do anything when you level it up, but it's crossbows. So they tried to implement it. What are you playing at but weapon? Never ended up. Oh, Jesus. Good health to you. I have that book. Hand in the bit. Great work. Ali, yo, this what's going on, man? How are you? Thanks for stopping in. And the buyer will be gnawing his nails by now. Goodbye. I also think that uh, the unarmed pole arms and yes, the other weapons, maces and axes need to get shown a little bit more love because you're right. It's optimized for archery and long swords. And then like maces and axes have like three combos a piece spaced apart by seven levels. Like they did not intend, or maybe they just didn't expect. I don't know what it was. Maces are so overpowered. I'd love to see them get a little bit more love. And, you know, the, they are overpowered, but I like doing combos. I really do. And long swords is really the only way. Long swords and short swords with a shield is the only way you can really do it. Rompel, how are you, man? Thanks for stopping in. Yeah. Uh, let's go yeah. and do... Yes, KCD2 announcement. I will be streaming on Thursday. Uh, when when that announcement gets made, it will be live streamed and my reaction, and we're going to be continuing this run. The Bailiff's Mace is OP, and you can get one for free for building Privis Lovitz. So that is... Ace. There's another one, actually, the Ceremonial Mace. Uh, you can kind of get for free, but it requires you to um, requires you to win the tournament quite a few times. Uh, I think it's like eight or nine wins. I can't remember off the top of my head, but uh, yeah, you can get one of those for free too in the in the you know tournament DLC. But Doing good. How about you? I'm doing fantastic. Uh, Rompel, so I, uh, I'll start. I'll say it again now. We have quite a few more viewers yeah. than at the very start of the stream. So we will not be live streaming tomorrow. Uh, I picked up a shift at work. So tomorrow is a no go. However, the shift that I swap for is going to be this Thursday, which means I have Thursday off, which means we're going to be live streaming. Uh, it's going to pick back up on Wednesday, Thursday, and if we need to on Friday. Maybe Friday will be yeah. like a chill stream. I know that some people were asking 
Uh, can you do this rule set with like Teresa? So maybe we'll just, you know, if we finish up this uh, this challenge run on Thursday, uh, maybe Friday will just be like a chill stream and we'll just fuck around a little bit, see how far yeah. we can push the rule set. Um, you know, maybe. Oh, really? He doesn't die from fall damage? I yeah. guarantee you I would have died. So animals are not afflicted by fall damage in this game. Oh, oh he almost killed. Oh, God. <laughs> Son of a bitch. He he fucking fooled us. He got us. He got away. Maybe he deserves to live. Oh, man, that's that's shockingly bad. All right, we got to we got to find ourselves some deer. That one eluded us. I'll let him live. Any other medieval games I play? Um, medieval Dynasty. That one I got really into, especially yeah. lately. Uh, that one is kind of um, it. I like to describe it as Kingdom Come Deliverance, except it it starts off the same. You're you're driven out of your homeland because of a war, but instead of Henry wanting revenge. Uh, the main character decides to build up his own town. It's a lot of fun. I like the archery. I like the hunting mechanics. If anyone here hasn't uh, hasn't checked it out, Medieval Dynasty is probably the biggest other yeah. medieval game that I play. Uh, once again, never covered on the channel, but I do play it kind of offline. Um, there's a uh, there's a, a small yeah. YouTube creator his name is sir j walker he does a lot of good coverage on uh medieval dynasty um if y'all are interested in medieval yeah. dynasty tips tricks all that stuff the breakdowns kind of how i do yeah. with kingdom come deliverance he does with medieval dynasty and i follow him and he's uh he's fantastic still growing uh me and him started about the same time and we're right about yeah. the same um you know subscribers and we we do all that so uh really great follow um yeah, Sir Jay Walker. Yeah. Uh, can't recommend him enough. Super chill, dude. Uh, also live streams on Sundays. Yeah. So if anyone's ever looking for a live stream on the weekend, he uh, he does that pretty consistently. Medieval Dynasty as well. Yeah, it's it's a good one. Loot a ton of gear, still use your horse and sell it for mad money. That's how I beat the game. <laughs> <laughs> they patched out a lot of stuff. I, I remember uh, when they implemented the the one patch that I was like, first of all, I was mad about. Um, where it used to be no matter how much stuff you had in your inventory, you could always mount your horse. And then they implemented the mechanic where if you're over half of your encumbrance. Oh, that was our chance. Fuck. Fuck, we missed it. That was our chance when it was caught. Yeah. We have to get it caught on something. That's the only way. We're not going to outrun it. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, we, we got to be smart here. I'm just running around like a fucking maniac here, and it's not getting me anywhere. Ron Pellet, you're right. I mean, it can get repetitive. I do agree. Um, I like the advancement aspects of it. You know, to be able to build more and more and... You know, eventually get cows and sheep and goats and, you know, I, I, for me, that's a lot of fun. But, um, yeah, it can get repetitive like any game with grinding, like any game where it has like minimum skill requirements to build certain buildings. However, I also like that they have a lot of uh, variability, so you can actually choose if you want, um, you know, certain, uh, if you want to be able to improve or level up faster, you can do that. If you want, you know, yeah. unlimited carry capacity, it's not a mod. You can just turn it on. So uh, there's a lot of fan service things that they thought about, you know, how would our fans like to, uh, like to play this game? And I mean, I commend them for that. It's incredible. Yes. The deer is for Alex. Panther, yeah, Sir Jay Walker, he's he's pretty good. I'm glad you're already subbed to him. Anyone else that's yeah interested in medieval dynasty gameplay, uh, check out Sir Jay Walker's channel. He's he's an incredible. Yeah. I think he's gonna blow up. I really do.
Cryo, what's going on, man? Yeah. Thanks for stopping in. Uh, run's going well so far. Right now, we are kind of getting our ass kicked by this fucking deer that we need for Alex. But, you know, other than that, yo, did we, oh, it wasn't a one hit. Oh, my God, it yeah. took us so long to get that one hit off. I don't know if we ever will again, but yeah. no, please, please let me. Oh, I thought that was it. I was like one hit and it's gone. Not the case. Okay, well now we got more chances. That yeah. one's that one's too tough. We're gonna go for one without antlers. We don't need antlers, we just need the red deer meat. <coughs> yeah. Come on, you. Yeah. Oh that is okay. Let's recover some stamina. Relax. Now fuck this deer. Yeah. Yeah. This one does seem slower. I, I don't know if it's because it's going uphill or if it's getting caught up on the environment, but it seems a little bit more killable. Okay, okay, okay. Nice and slow, nice and slow. No. No. There's one, two, three, four. Oh, come on. Come on. You've got to be kidding. Is this an invincible deer? Yeah. <laughs> That's how many hits it would have taken to take the fucking deer out. I don't care if it was an exploit. Guess what? It chose to run up on those, on those rocks. I did not make it. So fuck that deer. Uh, I think it was 40 pieces, if I'm not mistaken. We'll take 50 just in case. You know, we'll take all of them. We can sell the remainder. And watch, that's not even the one we need. We needed a roe deer meat, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. All that time. You're hitting the rock? No, I think we were hitting its, its hindquarters. Because if you listen, it's different for hitting the environment. See, that, that has more like a wooden wooden sound and yeah we need uh we need roe deer meat anyway it would be nice to check my journal but i can't so um luckily the the roe deer is not very far i don't know if they're any more catchable i hope they have less hp but uh well now we have the red deer meat in case we need it uh we're going the wrong yeah. way Yeah, uh, the hunting mechanics, I, I covered that in my KCD2 wish list. I really hope that they get better because the animal AI, the human AI compared to the animal AI is like night and day. The the humans, you can like um, just point an arrow in their direction and they run off and tell a guard. Yeah. Like you don't even have to shoot them. You don't have to hit them. Animals, you can hit them in the head and they don't even run. Like it's it's... Shocking, really, <laughs> is what it is. Well, hey, as long as you're watching, as long as you're watching, you're supporting and following. That's uh, that's the uh, that's the main thing. What other medieval games do I recommend? So, um, I was uh, saying yeah. Medieval Dynasty. If you're into like city builders. Um, I really like Bannerlord. Bannerlord is kind of like a larger scale, uh, KCD almost. Just got to get the right angle here. No. Okay, this one's also stuck. Oh, no! Oh, I moved too far forward. That was our opportunity right there. We got to get him stuck. I, I don't know if we're going to win a straight-up race. Against Well, actually, these roe deer are pretty slow. But their hitboxes are so small. They're not like the full-size deer. Oh, come on, you. Where'd you go? There they are. 
Uh, but yeah, Banner Lord is one to check out. Um, Medieval Dynasty is one to check out. That's all I can think of off the top of my head as far as medieval games, like you know, quote unquote realistic medieval games. But I have I have mentioned before that Skyrim I really like, even though it's not medieval. Um, if you just like you know sword fighting, obviously that one has a lot more you know magic and stuff. But Skyrim is what got me into this game, yeah. that kind of first person esque uh, sword fighting game. Um. So yeah, there's there's definitely quite a few out there. Okay. Alright. Yep, get it into that corner. That might be our chance. We need to use the environment here. You know what? And fuck it. While we're here. Simon, what non-medieval games do I play? Um Hmm. A lot. <laughs> There's, there's quite a few I enjoy. I don't know what you would consider, like, uh, the God of War series. I guess, you know, that one's kind of Nor Nordic. Um, but, you know, just action RPGs, I would say. Um, I'm really into those. Um, again, same thing, like, I don't know what, what necessarily genre you would classify it in, but something like a um, uh, Ghost of Tsushima. I play a lot on console. Uh... So a lot of console games, PlayStation in particular, lately I've been absolutely banging my head into the fucking wall because I've been playing UFC 5, which EA has royally fucked up and won't patch. And yet, because I'm a fan of the UFC, I still play that game, even though it's absolute ass cheeks. Um, I was really always into, a long time ago, the WWE SmackDown vs. Raw series, and I hear that the new 2K... Uh, WWE game is really good and I'm, I'm kind of curious I don't really follow the product I don't follow a lot of WWE anymore I did when I was younger but I, if, if the game is any good I'll give it a try because it's kind of like a fighting game you know wrestling game a little bit of nostalgia in there from when I was a kid grow a beard i'm in my sixth year i don't know when he grows a beard uh rasimir i don't know can he even maybe i just haven't gone that far into the game my uh my rasimir usually dies off a lot sooner than six years sip fanboy um it's good if you can hit stuff i am having a lot of difficulty hitting stuff but it's also because we're trying to hunt with it that could be part of the problem uh People are a little bit easier to hit, and yeah, it's like a one or two shot, yeah. and um, and they're pretty much dead. So it can be in whatever context you end up using that spear in. <laughs> the fifteenth. Oh, did it? Oh, Ghost of Tsushima on PC is huge. Yeah, now with PC gamers and stuff, Ghost of Tsushima, yeah, is one of the better games to release in the last like ten years. Uh, I'm not saying the best. Yeah. But for anyone that hasn't checked out Ghost of Tsushima, it's amazing. It really is. I've, yeah. I've probably played through it like five, six times. Story-driven game, so make sure you yeah. watch like, uh, you know, the cutscenes and stuff. I don't think it actually gives you a choice. I think you have to, but it's worth it. It's, it's such a good game. Yeah. And honestly, other than that, just a bunch of first-player games. Um, or first-person games not necessarily shooters but like dying light i just like this this yeah. first person perspective even banner lord i play um in first person which you know most people play in third person but i play banner lord in first person like this kind of aspect ratio i love it so anything like this with swords and bows in first person i will play it Witcher's, yeah, Witcher's kind of medieval too, you know, it's got that sword play, and I, I love Witcher 3, I, I, I'd mentioned recently that I tried to replay it again recently, uh, I played it kind of around the time it, it came out, and loved it, and then I tried to play it again, and I just, I couldn't love it, I don't know why, there we go, another deer, and he's got exactly 40, oh my god, exactly 40 yeah. <laughs> made that one by the skin of our teeth 
Yeah, the movement and the camera angles, I, I think that was the biggest shock for me for Witcher 3, because I think I played it in, yeah, 2015, 2016, and then after playing uh, God of War and Ghost of Tsushima, I think that might be because it just it wasn't as optimized as those. Now, it, neither well that it should be. It's a much older game. Um, and I still love the story and everything like that, but I think playing those other two games might have kind of messed it up because I was used to those camera rat? movements. Has it been hard to do that without accidentally? So, uh, Simon, I thought of that. Um, this is actually a good opportunity. So I play on a controller. Right. Uh, for anyone that plays on controller, the way you open your menu is you push down on the D-pad. If you hold down, it opens up the player menu. Up opens up the map, and holding up opens the uh, map. I've disabled these features. So pushing up and down doesn't do anything. I have to use the joystick. So I thought of that, Simon, <laughs> because, yes, at this point, I would have opened the menu about 500 fucking times. Um, so yeah, I'm just not allowing myself to do it full here? stop. I'm trying. Right, I saw you. I was finding. Oh, there's room. no way. Oh I wow, we got away with it. To hear it. It was a tough. I literally tried playing, only did an hour. Couldn't. Yeah. Yeah, it's. Yeah. It's something about those old games. You have nostalgia, and especially when you play through them the first time when it's when it's revolutionary in its graphics. I remember I've had this with several games. Like, Grand Theft Auto 4 was another one. I remember I played it for the first time that was on the PlayStation 4 release, and I was like, graphics in a game will never get better than this. This is as good as they've ever been and as good as they'll ever get. Go and play Grand Theft Auto 4 now, and graphically, tell me that it's not inferior in every single way now that's naturally gonna happen but it's just funny when you pick up that game and you're like man i remember it looking so much better than this what the hell is this you know um i don't know if we can win this and on top of that we are oh what do you think guys do we fight the mercenary and risk him cutting us open i'll save i'll save and try it I'll save and try it. Don't say I'm. Don't say I'm not adventurous. How about measuring our strength against each other, huh? Let's What's see the how uh, the spear what combat is. Like measure your skills against Actually, mine. No, fuck it. We can just mount the horse. I fear there's, there's nothing, nothing stopping us. Yeah, fuck this guy. Who are you anyway? And what do you do? Merchants hire me for protection. That's all you need to know. Hmm. Would you dare to face me? There's nothing in here that says All right. we not? can't just mount our horse and fuck him up. Finally. All right. Fine. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, you've got to be kidding me. It dropped their pole arm. Oh, dear. Did that hurt? Ow. It dropped their fucking pole arm. Oh, it dropped their pole arm, and now we're getting fucking trounced. Yeah. Okay, we got to get him away from the pole arm. Oh, wait. No, yeah. we picked it up. Hell yeah. Okay, now this guy's. Toast. Yeah. Yeah, what's up now? Oh, oh, one hit. One hitter quitter. Come here. Pay me my money. Oh well. Here you are. Yeah. Didn't go so well, did it? You fucker. Now come here. Hey, hey. That's what you get for he deserves this. He made me drop my pole arm. But that is good moving forward. Apparently any interaction like that is... Yeah, we're taking all this. Uh, all the good stuff anyway. We are already pretty overburdened, but... We can't use any of that. Can't use that. Mm. Yeah, that's about all we can take. And even now, I don't think we'll be able to actually mount our horse. Yeah, I think we're just slightly overburdened, so we gotta drop something off on him. Maybe... I hate to do it, but we can't really use those, so... Yeah, we're getting rid of the war horse stuff. Yeah, there we go. Some mounted combat for you. 
Took him out, stole his shit. We can sell all this to Peshek. We got the roe deer meat. This is this is going fantastic. Never would have thought that uh, it would be it would be quite this straightforward. And we are gonna need to go visit the bathhouse because we're pretty uh pretty fucked up right now. Okay, can't do anything with the rest of it. Ali, I agree. I actually just recently started playing Skyrim again, um, offline. And, uh, another one is Fallout 4. I have not played Fallout 4 in years. I've got some goods here. And started playing that one again, and my god. I'm a fan. I absolutely love it. Wow, that other stuff doesn't even show up as stolen? That's impressive. Don't need that. Oh, he has zero. Oh, man. His his inventory hasn't reset. So, yeah, we can't sell him anything. His inventory is, is still a zero, and now we're too overloaded to mount up. Shit. Oh. Fallout 4 is a good shout-out? Absolutely. Calum, so far it's been possible. Put that weapon away right now, or... So far, it's been possible. We still have the Vom Brace on from when we did the, yeah. the sword fighting. Um, or, pardon me, the archery. And so far, the pole arms have proved well. Now, the one issue we found with the pole arms, unfortunately, is they don't auto respawn. So we have a very limited amount of pole arms to get through the rest of the game. But we've been able to pick them up off various bandits. So far, it's looking possible. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, I'm waiting for the game to slap me on the pecker and tell me it's not, but so far that hasn't happened. It's looking good right now. You might get back to it. I, it's fun. What are you playing out with that? I'll be with you. Fallout London should be good. When does that come out, Simon? I hadn't heard anything about it. I guess I hadn't been paying attention to it, but... Is there a release date like or a scheduled the price. date where they're planning on doing that? Is this enough? That's too. I'm. Shit. <laughs> See, because we're not taking any speech perks, I have to be That's careful with how aggressive I actually haggle because they're going to. Yeah, see, we're not going to make that. All right. Uh, we also have to find Alex. That'll get rid of a good bit of meat. Should clear out our inventory pretty well. He's usually right there. He's not right now. Okay, he's got to be by the church. Next gen update for Fallout 4. That'll be cool. Yeah. See it on PS5, and that's the other thing. Can you imagine? Like this game looks absolutely beautiful. Can you imagine a next gen oh, for the next game that Warhorse puts out that on next gen? You know, on the PS5, or you know, being able to run like PC, like to to modern day PCs. Because remember, this game is six years old. It was yeah. optimized for like RTX 2060s. And shit, I think even lower than that could run it on lower settings, but this yeah. game running on something like a, a 4080 or a 4090 and being optimized for that, holy shit, it's going to look absolutely amazing. And hopefully less popping. <laughs> less texture popping and we'll be good. We'll be nice. It was due to come out next week? How have I never heard about Fallout London? If it was due to come out next week. I thought it was still like a year away or something. I'll have to uh, I'll have to look into that once I stop streaming today. I'll have to see. So that'll be cool. Yeah. In fact, most of the channels that I follow as far as, uh, you know, challenge run ideas and stuff is, uh, you know, based on Skyrim and Fallout. So I think that's kind of what got yeah. me into it. Um, Juve is a fun follow. Really good creator. Um, 
I think actually one of the members actually here told me about him and ended up watching it and I absolutely fell in love with his, you know, comedy, humor. Uh, so Juve is a good one, you know, rest in peace, Mitten Squad. I know you're watching. I don't know if there's any creators that that make content on RPGs that don't owe something to Mitten Squad, whether it's uh, ideas or or editing styles scripting styles the way yeah. he was able to tell a story eso danny uh oh yeah eso has some good videos follow london i'll have to check out eso i haven't checked out eso danny's in in a minute yeah uh, the one thing that's proving difficult about not being able to open my map is I don't know where any of these wandering NPCs are to turn in quests. So one's like Alex, one's yeah. like Milan. I just have to scour around yeah. all of Ratai, which I guess is more immersive. This yeah. this would be kind of more more the way it was. But it is a little bit painful to just have to do loops around and hope that I find them. Yeah. Is that Alex? Oh my god, don't tell me he was right there this whole time. No, that's Steven. Where the fuck is Alex? Ah, oh, you bastard. Why can't you just be in one place? Baked goods fresh from the oven. Come and, get them. and did these guys not gather up at the courtyard anymore? I could have sworn that we talked to Alex about gathering up at the courtyard and... Oh, there he is. No, that's Vincent. Uh, yeah, the meat's gonna spoil before we find this motherfucker. That's Tonda. Maybe he's around the back end of, uh, like behind the butcher and stuff. I never checked back there, but... Oh, wait, nope. Rock. You son of a bitch. My meat's gonna spoil. And we're not even going to be able to turn it in and we got to go fucking hunting again. Oh, that's not going to happen. I will find you. I will cheat if I have to. Would console commands technically be uh, legal? I can just teleport to them because, uh, you know, it's not opening the menu. Just teleport right to Alex. I, I, I genuinely can't find this motherfucker. I've never seen him up here, but I mean, it's worth a check. Yeah. Uh, nowhere else we've found is... is... proving, uh... fruitful. And yeah. yeah, I can't even check what my meat is at, so... Oh... Defeated by the game mechanics once again. Ah, that can't be him. Uh, bastard no console commands yeah that's what i figured i was just i was just joshing that was a test i was seeing how how much your guys integrity was and you passed <laughs> who cares to use them no the integrity of the run if if it's not painful and it doesn't cause me pain internally to know that my meat is currently spoiling as we just can't find this guy then it's not a real challenge run it's got to cause me some undue pain to be to be real and so far it's delivering let's go off on foot maybe we can find him then of course no sprinting Weapon away before someone gets hurt. Vagabond. Steven. Hmm. I would think so too, near the refugees, but we've been here about three or four times and I have yet to see him. That's a woman's husband. He's usually right here, and he's not. 
I think it's because he knows that we have exactly what he needs. And he just fucking hides. Let's check back at the town square again. Who are you? Hired hand. That's Vincent. Beggar. Honda. My meat's gonna fucking spoil before I find him. <sighs> you. What are you playing at with that? Will I risk waiting an hour or two? I might have to. I don't know. I legitimately don't know where else we can look. I think he's just not rendered in or something. That or he's walking. Yeah. And I just can't find him. But I mean, where else can we look? That's a woman. Yeah. Like seriously, any ideas where we haven't looked? What are you at all the all the Ooh, usual that. spots I can't I can't find him at. That just always makes me laugh when they scream like that. Uh, no, no, so far they haven't. So far they just tell me to put the weapon away. The only time they really follow up is when I have this pole arm at night because I'm not able to equip a torch. So they will arrest me for not having a torch. Not brandishing that weapon. <laughs> Are you blind for Could be out getting water. I don't. Does he ever get water? I don't I didn't think he ever left the city we're, we're gonna have to wait we're gonna have to wait an hour and hope that he he loads in so we'll s or maybe not an hour but just enough time for him to I don't know get into one of his normal positions is that vagabond it is Maruna God where could he fucking be? There's only so many places he can go, and all the places he's at. You don't. Oh. Hey, put that weapon away right now. Yeah, he's waiting for my meat to spoil, and then he's gonna pop up like, "Hey, you got my, you got my uh, meat yet?" Dude, this is, this is ass. Yeah. This is ass cheeks. <sighs> if only there was a way to activate the quest log without opening up the quest log so I could just have some direction on where this motherfucker is. Really? He, when you reloaded, he was just standing there? It's worth a try. I mean, we're not breaking any rules if we just save, pop a quick save, and, and reload. But I'm out of ideas. I've, I've, I was literally just trying to get this done what? for him. And I'm, I'm out of thoughts here. Slap him around when you see him? Yeah. <laughs> Give him a smack across the head with my pole arm. That's not you. This motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. And that motherfucker didn't even gather all the refugees at the town square like he said he was going to. Just lazy. Just a lazy. 
motherfucker. Okay. Yeah. Let's get out of town. We'll. Uh, oh, you know what? You know what? I'll. I'll actually. I'll head to the bathhouse. We'll. Uh, we'll heal up and see if that renders him in. Because if that doesn't, I don't know what will now. Fuck. That's gonna make him asleep. No matter what. Mm. I have a feeling this one's a no-go, no matter what we do. So saved. Let's load. We'll reload it. We'll see if, uh, we'll see if that does it. Oh, what? Oh! So apparently... That's awesome. Finally, yeah. I got a... Has anyone else ever seen you being able to have a torch and yeah. a pole arm at the same time? Maybe that's only a load-in feature. That could be a strat right there. So I don't get yelled at for, for not having a, uh, a torch anymore. That's cool. Or maybe it's a horse thing. Maybe it's if you're on a horse, you can have both. But I know on foot, you can't. Vincent? Beggar? about to say fuck this dude yeah. and his quest and we're we're not going to do anything for Alex anymore because I can't find this fuck you know I'm coming back to you with with me and you fucking hide where could you uh, I, I don't get it fuck this dude if we don't find him on this go around I'm, I'm fucking moving on because uh, this guy's a fucking certified asshole yeah it's proven. Yeah. Damn. Stay away from me. You send someone out yeah. to do you a favor, and then you fucking hide. Jesus. Hey, who's that? Hey. Got nothing. Yeah. Hey, Hera Hun. <clears throat> Jesus. Oh, W. Hey, uh, have a good What's night, man. On, have a, uh, we'll, uh, hopefully we'll see you on Wednesday. Like I said, no stream tomorrow, but Wednesday, hopefully. <gasps> Where have you been? Hey, who's that? Where have you been this whole fucking time? You have some explaining to do, sir. Good day. Holy shit. Just rampage the whole city at this point? Well, yeah, I wasn't far. Great. Let's Where was this motherfucker coming from? Thanks, Henry. We'll get lots oh. of supplies for this. Why I've is the guard staring at us? The innkeeper had a bit of a row with his And we have the venison. We out. have the venison. He's very fond of venison sausages. So, he asked me what I could do. Venison I can get, but he can make his own sausages. Naturally, just get the meat. KCD two in twenty twenty five BM. I think that too. I've got that meat. I think you. that's yeah. that's a astute time Thanks. for it to be released. We'll I think it's going to be sometime in twenty twenty five. Another order for you. The Merchant Hagen has a family wedding, and he wants to serve wild some more wild boar. Wine. I'm sure he can get his own wine. Of course, just the boar. The guards. Right. I'll bring it. Your plans run. Yeah. <laughs> God be with you. Stop right there. I have to search you. Uh, no, you don't. What part didn't you understand? All of it. What? I don't think we have anything stolen on us, do we? 
We'll see you, W. Well? What? I don't think we have anything for stolen on us. Reasons. As you wish. And all's well. Mind how you go. What's going on out there? Ow. They should improve our reputation with the uh, with the guards too, because remember, every single one of those quests that we do for Alex, we actually fuck up our reputation with the guards. They like us less and less, which means yeah. they're gonna search us a lot more and they're gonna mess with us a lot more. So anytime we can get away with a search, uh, I'd like to because it helps us. Uh... The guard just witnessed the. He witnessed two illegal trades of meat and did nothing about it. That's a good guard. I like that guy. Yeah. That's my kind of man. We're just trying to get by, you know? They're trying to get by. It's all good. He gets it. Let's get some sleep. We've had a long day of hunting and tracking down. He wants a cut. Yeah, he was trying. He tried his best. I'm honestly surprised that the uh, the other meat didn't show up as spoil too, that he uh, he didn't take that away. But I guess we were searching for quite a while. I guess it all uh, it all cleared as far as the stolen tags for it. Now, what's going to happen if I put my torch away? Okay, we don't need the torch during the day, but it is nice at night to have the torch and the pole arm. Maybe that's what we have to do. Yeah. We just have to uh, to save and reload, and that'll... <laughs> I'll have to get something to is that technically ex exploiting a glitch, or is that just a game mechanic? Saving and reloading. It's not opening the menu, so it's not breaking the rules. I say it's legal. God. I'd like so a physician. That can be a fine. I'm sure. Goodbye. There we go. I know. Sounds fair to me too. Uh, I'll have to consider it. Maybe some of the maybe some of the quests at night that are damn near impossible if we can't see, we'll have to we'll have to use that one. All right. Uh, we need boar meat for him. Are we missing any other? Let's let's try and see if we can do those uh, those citizens. He said that they were going to meet us during the day. I have yet to see any of them gather up. Oh, here they are. Okay, perfect. Okay, we're going to drop that down right there. Perfect. We're, we're back to... We're back to the fall arms floating. <laughs> That's going to get me every time. This is ours. All right. Let's knock this out. Get some speech XP out of it. I already know who I'm going to hire where. There we go. Oh, you know what? Before, before we do that, actually, I'm going to go and talk to Teresa real quick. Teresa, it's going to give us a little bit more uh, speech XP as well if we tell her that we're going to hire Vincent and uh, Antonia. It's more speech XP. It's a little bit of uh, relationship gain. I totally forgot about that. So for anyone that doesn't know, if you start that quest and talk to Teresa, she's going to give you some extra stuff for it. And I think we have to do it before we talk to them. We have to promise her that uh, we're going to hire them, oh. which I do plan on doing. Um, do you I'd like, of course. I, I, there we go. Uh, do you think 
There we go. Yeah. Please tell me our polearm didn't despawn. That's the issue we had yesterday. I, I don't think we're far enough away that we're still within rendering distance, so I don't think it did. But at least it's standing straight up, so we'll be able to see it pretty easily. Yes, that's a W. There it is, waiting for us. Oh, what? what? I want to work. Oh. And I heard to do it's true. Oh, oh, that that's weird. She's never sought me out before. He didn't ask. Um. Look, I heard. But I really. So does everyone. None of them. He's got. Sorry. I already. What? I want. What? All right. And she. That's weird. She's never sought me out out here before. She's usually in there. All right. Well, that's a new one. God's. Now the. How well? Right. It's not easy. What do you think it was? There's one. what? It's a job. But what would people? Say? But it would be. The money would help. True enough. <laughs> I won't. I'm glad to hear. There's one. What? I said. But it. Just Look. Well, you have a. There we go. We got a speech XP. I could get it over and done with quickly. Good. Okay, so we're gonna have. Oh shit! I I don't want to keep selecting that. Um. Look. Oh, come on. Well. Anything. Here you go. Thank you so. No, oh, no. Thank you. The bailiff. What? But I haven't got a pot to piss in. Oh. I, I, so. The, I know. That's enough. God be with you. All right. So Rock is gonna carry shit, and Antonio is gonna carry shit. God be with you. What? Are you? And what about? What would well, they, okay? So Tonda's gonna carry water. Pikmin, you're here. Uh, I, besides what? <laughs> no. So you, I, and, so uh, pick is that? How are you? What? What? Tre Shh. Ma my, Pikmin's gonna carry water. Senor, hey, how are you, man? Thanks for stopping in. Finally have some time. Yep, I'm streaming again. Thanks for stopping in. How you doing today? Beautiful Monday. Goodbye. All right, that should be everyone. Pole arms still standing strong. Let's turn this into the bay uh, to the bailiff. Talk to me, bailiff. Talk to me. Thank you. My respects to you. I'd like to talk to you. Nope. That's all I can Not that one. Deal. I know everything. Splendid. So, just tell me. Uh, we said rock. Peter. Peter, rock. To carry shit. Carrying shit. Good. What? And Antonia. Antonia. What? Yeah. I... She can handle let's hope so you'll have to answer to me carrying and also shit. carrying shit and now tonda pikmin and vincent we can ask him about reading master babe nothing of interest good luck to you there we go another quest completed and we should get some good quest rewards for that. 
Let's go and get that last boar for Alex, and that should complete everything we need in Ratai for now that I want to do. We can come back for the executioner yeah. later, but I do want to continue with the main quest a little bit. Um, but first, I want to yeah. just go ahead and round off the uh, Ratai side quests and get that last boar. Uh, the boar, luckily, was a little bit easier to hunt than the deer and the roe deer. Seemed like we had a little bit more success with the boar, so I don't anticipate it going too horribly. Plus, there's a bunch to choose from, and they're a lot slower. So this one should be nice and quick. Doing as well as can be expected on a Monday. Do you have work today or something? Mondays are always a bit meh, but... So far, it's going well for me. Despite it being a Monday. Oh, we can't have that. Oh. Are you blind for Christ's sake? There's people walking here. Uh. You're a... Yeah. Uh. You're a bad man. You deserve that. He deserved it. Killed a woman and then looted her corpse. And he was here since yesterday. That's the same woman and the same guy. Got away with it once, not twice. Give me your money. Oh, he's got some really good stuff on him. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Just yeah. university, but it feels like work. I feel you. I feel you there. Wait, if you're, if you're in university, shouldn't you be focusing on studying? What you doing in a live stream, man? He was investigating her tragic death. Well, uh, it's yeah. Now I now I feel it. Thanks for making me feel like shit, Olaf. I judged the book by his cover. He was looting her corpse, which granted we did as well. So I guess it's the pot calling the kettle black. But yeah, I mean, what can you do? Alright, let's find these boar. There's one. He's ran off into the distance. Luckily, it's not exam time. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Boar. Yeah. Yeah, see, their hitboxes are going to be a little bit off yeah. as well. But hopefully a little bit better. Because they are slower. Uh. Oh, come on. That should have hit. That should have definitely 100% hit. So should that. Golly. Getting such bad luck with the hitboxes today. There's one. Okay, we gotta get slightly ahead of it, I think. That's the problem, because the swing kind of goes down and back. If we're behind it, it doesn't really work. Oh, you yeah. bastard. Yeah, that's what this is. This is a spear. So Henry stayed true to his word to Hans that boar is hunted with spear, in fact. Unfortunately, we can't throw it. We can only use it as a stabby, but at least this is a spear. We're already doing better than Hans' cape on. 
That should have done it. W. That should be all of Alex's quest line. And that is way too much boar meat. I did not think that it would have that much boar meat on it, but it did. Actually, no, we're going to hold on to all of this, but we're just going to pull a little tricksy. We've got a dead boar here with uh, 53 red deer meat on it. That'll get him. Still too much. I want to try and sell the rest. Get a little bit more gold. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Can't have that. Uh, let's take... Let's say... 75. That should be good. Um, so, Senor, earlier we had the yeah. reforged scythe, and then we had one of these peasants that attacked us on the road that ambushed us, and they happen to have a spear. So we actually traded out for a spear. Ooh, big battle. Bam! We're gonna help the, uh, we're gonna help the guards. There we go. We're getting our rhythm now. Look at that. Two hits, and we helped out. Wait, hang on. Wait a minute. Is that guard about to attack us? No, he's not. Okay. No, they're just still... Okay, we're good. Why are we still in combat, though? Oh, shit. They got aggroed. This is actually good, though, because the guards are going to help us take them out. We need to get rid of that archer. The archer is going to be problems for us. That's like a one shot. Oh, oh, that's a big hit. Oh, that's a big hit. Okay, we gotta be careful. We take another one. I think we're uh, we're yeah. pretty much done. Okay, guards killed him. Uh, the one running away. Yeah. Oh, they're they're all chasing him down. We we can help him. Oh, they got to him first. Hell yeah, them guards. Oh, well, we can go loot out that camp now. Bandit ear. We might even get a uh, a pair of. Okay, that's all we can really take off him, right in the chest. I know, right? What a jerk! He got me good, that fucker. Um, I don't remember if this is one of the uh, one of the quests that Captain Bernard sends us to, but if it is, ooh, the Raven's Beak. I like it. Marigold decoction. The apple we can use to... Man, there's some good stuff here. Oh, this was such a good find. The problem is we're not going to be able to take anywhere near as much as we need. Okay. We only need 25 boar meat, so I'm getting rid of 65 of these, and we're going to try to take... Uh, I was taking the boar meat. Try to make some money. We're gonna make so much more money with these guys than than the other ones. It's it's not even funny. This was huge, huge. Oh, this guy's got some good good on him. I love it. Yep, 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 yep. There's still a bandit left over there. But. Oh, gotta be careful. I can hear him. Oh god, he aggroed to us. Gotta get back to the horse. Oh god, we're not. Oh my god. Ooh, 
this is gonna be rough. Yes! Oh, the pole arm for the win! Get out of here! Pole arms. Gotta love them. Uh, we have to get rid of some of this stuff. I don't like being this overburdened. Um, but let's see, male chasses, they can go. I gotta do some quick maths here. So 98 times in half is 49. And then 98 plus 49 is 147. So as long as we're at 147, we can still mount our horse. It's it's that times one and a half. Uh, 147 is our sweet spot. Don't need that anymore. Pole arms are OP as hell. I love it. Uh, we just need to get rid of about four more pounds. That should do it. Yeah, I'm saving the Halbergs yeah. for a special occasion. Okay, that's all I dare have. We're low on health. We gotta get out of here. I've, I've overstayed my welcome. Surprisingly, we were actually able to get away with that. I'm grateful and happy, but that's all I dare take. That wasn't rough at all. Well, we were so low on health, and the thing is, when we were that overburdened, I figured one swing of the pole arm, and we were going to be out of stamina. So basically, if we missed that, and he hit us with anything, we were probably going to die. It was... Right now, we're a glass cannon. We can pretty much one-shot anything in the game, and anything in the game can one-shot us. So... It, when it hits, it goes great. If it doesn't, we're fucked. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it is what it is. Now we've got the meat for Alex, and we've also got a bunch of shit to sell. It's going to get us some pretty good standings with our gold. And we can move on with the main quest. We're going to have to find somewhere to stash this polearm, because going through the main quest with Father Godwin... might be a little bit rough if we lose this spear pole on but then again it's probably getting pretty low on health anyway let me let me see what what this thing has as far as uh as far as durability because i know i can't repair it with them i've tried repairing it and it goes into my inventory and becomes inaccessible so i can't repair it still a 51 that's not bad that's not bad at all. And he's got 4K. Oh. And now we start. That's all we're going to get out of him. Let's talk about the... Are we agree? That... What did you say? A nice... Forget... This bastard... We bring you stuff like this and you tell us no? Okay. Well, this time there's no way he's not saying he's saying no to 4K. Yeah. Oh, I'm not I'm not taking a penny under anything, everything that he has. That's what I thought. Okay. Watch it. We go here, sell some more, sell the rest of the stuff to him. Try to go find Alex in under Good 10 hours this time. Got to be careful not to sell the bomb brace. Haggle. We're good. Can we do something about the price? Sure. Why not? So I am 
getting the money right now for if we need any sort of buffing Rest. potions because remember we're not going to be able to do this is a ah uh, you bastard we're not able to uh craft any potions it requires us to open our inventory and i've, I've redeemed that out so i need to be able to buy any of the potions that i want without any sort of worry and i just i don't want to run out it's it's something in the back of my head where i'm just like i know i'm gonna run out if i don't and i want to be able to buy them in big bulk so in fact right now we Our are spent. going to take some i want to buy some amours which he doesn't can have um and bards let's see that's gonna add up that's 322 right there i want some stamina i want a couple more bucks blood uh marigolds i feel like are gonna be pretty good and Nighthawk, yes. Okay, I want five Nighthawks. And see, that's 1.3 gone right there. Um, so it's going to go quick. When it goes, it's it's going to go quick. And especially if I, you know, on the fly decide I need a certain potion, the, sure. it's nice to be able to just buy it without having to worry, especially when we have the opportunity to make some money now. Because I can't do the drinking water trick in this one. I can't open my inventory, so we have to do the cooking pots. We can buy a tailor's hat anywhere. I really like it. Have not been able to find it. Which hat does the tailor have? I think he might sell it. Or you can just probably knock him out and steal it from him. Uh, I don't remember what hat he has. It's not the nobleman hat. I think it might just be the pointed green hat. Um, Milan. I think Milan carries one, but I could be wrong. It looks very similar to the one that Milan has, but you might be able to buy it off him. Um, and we still need to go to the Huntsman. I think we still have some more in inventory we weren't able to sell. Yeah, there you go, Rumpel. Yep, you can get it at the tailor. Okay. Yep, there was quite a bit that we weren't able to, to sell. That stuff we can sell to the swordsmith. Need that. We'll sell you that and that. Let's have a word about the price. Hmm. All right, so... That's yeah, I feel like the uh, the potions are going to be big in this playthrough as well. Just to be able to get those little tiny buffs that actually help us progress. Especially when we start coming to some of the, you know, I'll say mini bosses like the Runts or the Ulrichs. Um, I feel like they're going to come in clutch right there. For general gameplay, not so much, but... My respect... That's a good bit of coin right there. Let's talk about Pretty much made our um, our potion run this Great. time free. Just traded one for another. Oh. There we go. Clears up a good bit of inventory. Let's find Alex, hand in the uh, the boar meat, and then we can get the hell out of Ratai for now. This is going to be the challenge run in of itself. Can we find Alex in under two in-game hours so right now it's about 1 30 can we find alex before 3 30 in the afternoon yeah. or is this guy gonna fucking hide all day again and we're yeah. only gonna catch him going to bed let's run up this way i have a feeling he might be up this way we're leaving no stone unturned we're finding this guy. Yep, 
Is that him? Tell me that's him. I think that's him. Put oh, what? That's Boy. perfect. He's right out the back gate, too. You got that meat? Great. Thanks, Henry. That should we'll be it. Lots of supplies for this. I think we'd better quit while we're ahead. The Master Huntsman has got wind that something's up, and the burgers are getting nervous. But you help them. You're welcome. I will. Take care. So you can complete the entire Beggar's Feast quest line without ever accessing your map or quest log. It's not easy. He's a real pain in the ass. But you can do it. <laughs> oh, you know, I never even stopped. You know what? We don't need to stop at a yeah. at a bathhouse. We've got more than enough marigold decoction. This is going to be how we heal. How we heal outside of having a bathhouse. Let's find where this cooking pot is. Eat from pot. There it is. Drop into pot. We're going to go marigold and then eat. There it is. And that's how we can take marigold decoctions. And if we remember, from now on, that pot is always going to have marigold decoctions. So anytime we need to heal, we can go straight to that pot. Yeah. And it'll always heal us. That's the real OP thing about potions is when you put them in a pot, they never go away. Like you can only eat them once a day, but anytime you go back to it and it's available to get eaten out of, it's going to have that same effect that you put in there. So it's pretty cool. kind of bad without the perk that buffs it um yeah but it's all we got we can't take that perk unfortunately plus without that perk it doesn't make you drunk now you can do it on on uh you know the the drinking waters but we can't access the inventory to, to mix them so this is the next best thing is putting them in the cooking pots and and eating out of them and getting the heals that way that, that's got to put us near 100 health. Yeah, yeah, we're already back at 100 health, so. Uh, yeah, once once you put them in a cooking pot, anytime you eat out of that cooking pot, it will be there for the rest of the game. It lasts infinity amount of hours. You can only eat out of it once a day, but it'll never go away. That effect will be there still at the end of the game. Yeah, it is kind of OP. So, um, I just recently put out an alchemy, everything you need to know about alchemy video, and I was testing that. So I put a lullaby decoction in a bandit camp, um, wait for them to eat, and then they all went straight to sleep. So I was able to go through and stealth kill the entire, uh, stealth kill the entire camp. And then I went to jail three separate times, 10 days apiece. So 30 in-game days passed, the entire bandit camp respawned, and I went back to it just to see if the effect ever wore off. I ate out of the camp and instantly had to go to sleep. So once it's in whatever cooking pot it's in, it's there for the remainder of the game. Whatever you put in there, whether it's Bane, whether it's Lullaby, whether it's Marigold, it does not go away. So use that how you will. Uh, right now, we are at the point we're headed to Ujits and we're going to investigate the uh, Limpy Lubosh. So we're not that far into the main quest, but I do want to make a good push today. Um, I'm hoping to at least get through Privis Lovitz today. We were kind of fucking around for the first uh, couple hours trying to clean up some side quests. I wanted to see what side quests we can get done around Ratai in, in, in this rule set. Um, I'm done with that for now. We're going to make a push for the main quest line. Yeah, you could throw in a Lazarus potion. You can throw in a bunch of buff potions uh, like Embrocation or stuff. Uh, I think it does buff them for the big battle. Or if you just want to continuously kill them, just put a poison in there, and every time you go back and they eat, they just die. Well, the Lazarus Potion, it it lasts for about five minutes. It heals 100 hit points over the course of five minutes, so I'd, 
I'd argue that the Lazarus potion probably lasts a little bit longer than the others, maybe. Now, I don't want to risk going into this cutscene and losing my pole arm, so I think we'll, uh, we'll go over here. We'll, we'll do our little pole arm trick. Oh, I didn't stand up. No, that's unacceptable. We expect our pole arms to do a, a fully. No, no. Watch it. You can't draw your weapon here. Well, I'm fucking gonna. And not only am I gonna draw it, it's gonna stand up. God damn it, it won't do it. I think it's got... I think it's shy. Maybe it needs to be flat ground. Mm. I will get this spear to stand straight up. I don't care what it takes. Son of a bitch. Defeated by a spear. <laughs> well, that's fine. As long as it's by our horse, we'll know where to get it. Yeah, uh, flat ground, we've been able to make these pole arms, like, stand straight up like a, like a fucking post. But I think it needs to be on flat ground in order to do it, because here it's a bit of an incline. Whatever. As long as it doesn't disappear when we go into this cutscene. Uh, Rumpel, it lasts five minutes, and so Marigolds are one minute for 30 hit points. Uh, Lazarus should be five minutes for 100 hit points. So... The Lazarus is a little bit better for quick healing, but Lazarus is more for uh, for the duration of healing. Move along, citizens. Move along. <laughs> Put buff potions There's into the bandit and human pot. So we will not before the battle, but during the battle. That's how we're going to get our buffs to fight run. So if they survive, they're going to have some really good cooking pots, but we don't plan on keeping any of them alive. This is all I need. We'll have to send word to Sir Hanush. That might not be necessary. Who are you? I'm Henry of Scalitz, in the service of Hanish's Captain Bernard. I love how we show up and we're butt naked and we're trying to tell him how we work for like the Lord of the Bailiff of Auschwitz. <laughs> and I say we don't want any of that kind of trouble around here. What makes you think this has anything to do? I would not believe him at all if he comes up to me dressed like that and he's like, "Oh yeah, actually, I serve the Lord." We have no bandits or. Sharon, hello. How you doing today? They say you had a limp. Shit. Well, allow me to introduce you. Limpy Lubosh. Limpy Lubosh. Or all that's left of him. Dun, dun, dun. Here's the real question. Do we learn how to read? It's not really going to benefit us, but I think it is necessary to progress the story. We might have to learn how to read. Uh... I'll have to take a look around and ask a few more questions, if that's all right with you. <laughs> you can take this mess off my hands and welcome to... Uh, fucking barefoot in his 90s. What else there is to find out? I don't know. Try to talk to all these guys. Look and ask all you like. Oh, and I never ended up getting into more. Shit. I might have to I might have to make a trip out to Talmberg and speak to the uh speak to the bathhouse there and try and get in a more potion. Okay. Let's talk to all these and let's make sure our pole arm survived through the cutscene. It did. Uh we'll talk to all these people, get some speech XP. Yeah, you know, going barefoot in there is disgusting. I know, right? Stepping on all the horse shit on all the roads. God be with you. Look, man, Henry is incapable of dressing okay. himself. Give him a break. Do you know what? You know? He is the That's ultimate right. simpleton in this you run. That. Have you? Do you know? Do you? That's. May the Lord watch over you. We're just gonna go through and grind out as much speech XP as we can. Any options that appear in white that aren't grayed out give us a marginal amount of speech. God bless. Good afternoon. 
He's like a hobbit. They just go everywhere on foot. God be with you. Farewell. Greet. God bless. I think that might be all our dialogue options. God be. Oh, we got one more. Farewell. Good day to you. Take care now. Jesus. Farewell. Okay, that's all the options that we have. Let's head on in here. What's Investigate. This? What's this? What's this? An inscription in blood. Lord of birth, I did a. What's this? Looks like someone's hit him very armor. Well, it seems Lubosh wasn't your everyday crofter. And judging by the bloodstains, it looks like he lived the way he died. Uh, Latrodon, so I actually don't have any mods right now for Henry customization. If you go to a bathhouse, you can actually change his haircut and beard. Um, and that should be in the base game. That's not a mod. Um, I do have a couple visual mods running right now. Improved, uh, hair textures. And, uh, improved eyes. Good day. If you go in the description of the stream, um, I have all the mods that I'm running. Um, along with the links to Nexus, so you're, you, you can be sure that you're actually getting the same mod. But, uh, yeah, that's the only visual mods I have is the hair and eyes textures. And as far as the rest of it, go to a bathhouse, ask for a, um, ask for a haircut or a beard or a shave, and you'll be able to change up what haircut and beard your Henry has. <laughs> Jesse Pinkman and Boo- yeah. yeah, he does look like Jesse Pinkman, huh? <laughs> Bald with a beard. It's time to cook. Um, I am very tempted to just go ahead and learn how to read right now. Like I said, it's not going to do us a lot of good for, uh, for reading books, but we're going to need it moving forward and it's going to make it a lot easier. So we might as well. Jesus Christ. I'd like you. All right. Very. Here, then. There we go. Henry is no longer a simpleton. There's Watch out for the cutscene. Oh, this one survives the cutscene. Now, can we sit down with it? It's a simpleton. Can we sit down with a polearm? Will it survive this? Look at that. I've read the book. Wonderful. The be Yeah, now this All right. So, it looks like the developers did think of uh of pole arms a little bit more than I thought. The hitboxes are a little bit odd, but if it can survive stuff like cutscenes and sitting down with it, I guess they uh they have a little bit more utility than than meets the eye. So I figured it would get I figured it would get Yeah, he can read but he can't open his inventory uh, He's still very dumb He's still very dumb uh, He's still unable to uh, Clothe himself, bandage himself Or help himself out In any sort of way, but he can read He has the ability to read There we go Let's talk to the greatest side character ever devised. Whoa. Whoa there. You calm down. And I hope we see you in a DLC quest in Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 when it's announced this Thursday. I see you know how I wouldn't have expected that from a man of the with a stick. Yeah, Boris, uh can't equip anything, can't take any perks, Reminded can't check my, my map, and can't check by. my uh my quest log. Basically anything in the player menu is off the table for us. Do you have any work? Only you reason we have the bomb have brace right now, we still have those from when we did Another the bow hunting, which get auto equipped for you. Hmm. I can't. So I think it might be Kingdom Come Retribution. 
not just Kingdom Come 2. I think so. There's a creator here, Sexy Biscuit, Roxy over at Sexy Biscuit. I know I've mentioned this several times, uh, you know, and I apologize if I'm repeating myself, but she came up with the name uh, Kingdom Come Retribution a long time ago. She was one of the few. She's under NDA, so don't go and bother her so she can't say anything until Thursday. But there was some pictures she revealed of her watching the trailer. She got early access to see the trailer, and she was legitimately like almost in tears um out of excitement i have a feeling that that comes from the fact that they took her idea and the second game is going to be called kingdom come retribution could be wrong it's a theory i can't support it Watch but it. i have a feeling that's what it'll be you know, or requiem but yeah it's going to be uh, a name i don't think it's going to be kingdom come deliverance 2 it's going to be kingdom come blank I think you also auto-equip the cumin disguise armor from Matthew Frith. I don't think so. I think it's in the cutscene. We can check. We can do that quest. Uh, we have the capability to do it. Um, but I don't know if it auto-equips. But I like where your head's at. We're definitely going to check that, Boris. We're 100% going to check that. Hopefully, it doesn't just get put in our inventory. But that will definitely help out. Um, well, in fact, we got to wait right now until nighttime it is five o'clock we gotta wait until at least nine do we think we can get all the way down to sasau talk to matthew and fritz and come back here before nighttime i don't know if we can that's quite a ways that's basically from one end of the map all the way down to the other oh. i'll tell you what we can do though we do need to go and get in a more potion uh, I want to buff my charisma before we get into the cutscene where we drink. We are going to be drinking with, um, Father Godwin. We got to drink with Father Godwin, so I'm going to grab an Amore potion from the, uh, bathhouse here. We're going to drop that into a pot, and then during the during the uh cutscene we're gonna go ahead and drop in a more potion so we can convince them while we give the sermon i think that's gonna be the only way because we can't really buff our charisma at all with clothing so we might have to buff it with a potion so we actually pass all the all the speed checks yeah we did do the whole map in three hours for the hair meet you are right I just, I don't want to risk missing that. I I love that cutscene so much. Now, a couple of times I've had to, I've had to miss it. Uh, just based on the rules, like, you know, the honorable one, I was like, you know, that doesn't really fit Henry's character if he's trying to be an honorable knight to get drunk and fuck up the whole town. Um, and then same thing in the one HP run, because you get in that fist fight, I didn't want to risk getting one shot, but... I mean, anytime I have a chance to drink with Father God when I friggin' take it. Oh, they won't stand up anymore. I miss the time when you... When the pole arms worked with me. Um, where's the proprietor? Is that her? There she is. Oh, and we can't talk to her. There we go. A more, thank you. One, that's all you have is one. One's all we need. Okay, we'll take that. What's our nourishment and energy? Is that 74? We might as well. It's 20 Grosham, we're right here. Let's recover all that. That's two hours, that's perfect. That is perfect. We get back and we just, uh, Talk to Father Godwin. Should be right around nighttime. We can get right into the uh, the cutscene. Now, we are going to have to figure out somewhere to put this pole arm. Because that, I don't think it'll survive that cutscene. Yeah. Legitimately, I don't think it will. But, if we put it outside of his... Maybe outside of his door. Or no, by the church. Oh, that'll be perfect. Because then as soon as, we, uh, as soon as we finish, it'll be waiting right outside the church for us. This playstyle is all coming together nicely. It's definitely weird. 
but it's coming together. Put it into the church? Yeah. That's, that's gonna have to be the play there. It is easier to skip that. You are right, Latrodon. Now, here's the other problem I'm actually... I'm thinking about it right now. We're gonna have to skip it. We are gonna have to skip it, and I'll tell you exactly why. If I'm not wrong, if I'm not mistaken, you wake up at Father Godwin's uh, completely unclothed because you you know, have some rumpus time the night before. If we do the Father Godwin stuff, I'm pretty sure the Vaughn Braces are going to get unequipped and we're not going to be able to put them back on. As of now, if we skip Father Godwin, they don't get unequipped until Vranic. But I think... For, oh, God, wait, yeah. hang on, we're in combat. I'm fucking sitting there talking, we're in combat somehow. Yeah. Who aggroed on us? God, we were about to die just during my theory crafting right there. Um... Yeah, I'm I'm about I'm about positive that if we do the Father Godwin stuff, we we lose these bomb braces and I'd like to hold on to them. So, unfortunately, we might have to skip it. Yeah. We'll visit him, but yes, we're going to refuse to drink with him and we're just going to have to go on the the side quest and go down to the scribe down in Ratai. But yeah, shit, I didn't think about that until now. Put that weapon away before someone gets hurt. And it'll keep Henry's virginity. Hmm. See, this is the kind of stuff that this run makes you think about. It really makes you think, like, is it worth me drinking with Father Godwin to lose the only protection that we have right now? And to me, it's not. It might not seem like a lot to just have the bomb brace. But I mean, I'd rather have something than nothing. <gasps> oh, why didn't you stand up? Okay, I'm glad we got that out of the way. We'll we'll talk to him, but we're definitely not gonna have. We we can't drink with him. I I don't want to lose that that aspect of of protection. I'm sorry, I can't tell you everything. But first, I like to. I'm from. Oh. God. He did, but I found a witness and the trail led here to Ujit, so he sent me here to follow it up. Ah, well, congratulations. It's nice to see someone using their head to find things out instead of... Senor, it does. It increases charisma. Now the... The root the Neuhof... Well, then. I've told... Yes, you know what? But this is Let's just... These days... Well, we so Henry, if people I check what work I what if they what what just gonna do this to level speech. What you what then what not in the mood for boozing, it hurts. It hurts my soul to select this, but for the good of this run. Well, enjoy it, Father. We have to. I have to go now. I'm not much in the mood for a drink. You won't. No. Yeah, not as part of this cutscene. Find out if anyone. So right now we got to go find the bailiff. He's gonna. Oh wait. Oh, that's right. Okay. I thought our pole arm disappeared. It's because I dropped it. Um, where is the bailiff? He's usually in the scribe quarters or out here. There he is. Good help. Godwin, I told you, no one ever. But where? You might, but maybe you're. Thank you for your help. There we go. Get our pole arm back. Yeah, that hurts a little to not. To not drink with Godwin, but like I said, for for the integrity of the run, just to be able to yeah. keep that little piece of gear on that little bit longer, I think it's necessary. And then, 
whoever had that idea about the cumin armor, we are getting on that stat before, uh, before we do Privoslovitz, I'm going to have to test. We need to go and get Matthew and Fritz working at Ledechko ASAP. So enough time in the, uh, in enough time in the yeah. game passes. I went the wrong way there. Enough time in the game passes for them to actually head on over to Andrew's Inn. We can go ahead and kill the humans. Yeah. And try to get that aspect of our game going. Yeah. The bomb brace can save our lives. Exactly. Which is why I wanted to hold on to them. I think they're going to be really powerful. Well, not really powerful, but more powerful than bare forearms. Especially because when you figure, especially with pole arms, here's my thought. The pole arms, you hold it out like this. So if anything, yeah. it'll hit the bomb brace before it hits us. Or in theory, it will. So that one hit could be what saves our life in a very close encounter. Or maybe even stops us from bleeding, which, I mean, bleeding is a big issue. We saw what happened on day number one. <laughs> <laughs> with falling off a tiny little, you know, set of stairs, we basically we bled to death because yeah. we didn't have a way to bandage ourselves. So, bleeding is instant death in this. If we bleed, we die. There, there's no and ifs or about it. And with that hemophiliac perk, we bleed faster than you can believe, so... You're about 90% sure that the human armor doesn't auto-equip? I mean, it's worth a shot. If it doesn't, then it doesn't. But to have that armor, I, I think you're right as well. I think I I don't think it auto equips, but you do come out of the cutscene with it. It might just appear in your inventory, but I mean, I'm willing to risk it. If it's a chance for armor that auto equips, I'm willing to take that chance. It might only be the cutscene. Mm. Well, thanks for shattering my hopes, guys. Getting my hopes all up. I'm like, oh my god, we're actually gonna... You guys had a brilliant idea. We have the armor. Now, come to think of it... No, it doesn't. And, in fact, all it does is it strips us of our armor. Um, I was thinking about in all the glistens. Does the armor that you fight the... Um, the armor, Master Ota, does that auto equip? But I don't think that does either. That strips you. That strips you naked. So that's not it either. Try not to die getting to it. Yeah. No kidding. That's always the goal. Trying not to die. Sometimes I'm good at it. Sometimes it doesn't go well. You're going to go test uh, yeah. to see if the human armor auto-equips? Man, Rompel's the, uh, the play tester. I might have to hire you for yeah. uh, for gameplay testing. <laughs> All good developers have it. Oh, God. Why did I think Hills was a good idea? This is a nice little way to cut out most of Ratai to get down to, um, to Peshex. Yeah. It's a very, uh, like, gentle slope, so you can actually get down to that main road pretty easily. But you do have to be careful on a fast horse, because it will glitch off these rocks. Uh, Lady Stephanie's shirt does not auto-equip. That one yeah. I know. Um, the shirt you get from Stephanie, it does not. But it is one of the highest charisma shirts in the entire game. Usually whenever I have a... A uh, high charisma, like, you know, city clothing, that's almost essential in that setup. Yeah, Yeah. not having a torch sucks. You're telling me. But we do have uh, quite a few Nighthawks, so yeah. if we ever have to go out at night, 
we can uh we can pop a nighthawk into a into a pot and be able to see uh what do we have in our inventory that's weighing us down we have that spear we don't need that bunch of potions and okay i'm okay with all that get some sleep Wait till the bathhouse opens up. That'll uh, replenish some of her nourishment. And we'll go talk to this scribe. Yeah. Let's see, I'm pretty sure we're going to need to buy a... Yes, we are. We're going to have to buy an embrocation so we can actually do that first. That way we have it ready for him. Actually, we'll hit up the bathhouse on our way out of here, on the way to Ledechko. It's, the nourishment's not really a priority right now. We still have some. And the later we can wait to, to replenish it, Jesus then the Christ longer it's going to last us. So, embrocation. Might as well buy a couple of them. And off to the scribe. The ever-sleeping scribe. Uh, let's... You know what? Okay. Here we go. If there's a place where this spear can stand up, it's here. No! You were so close. Hang on. Be a good spear. Be a good spear. There it is. Our spear trick is back. That way we know exactly where it is. Let's get our horse over here. What a visual. Don't you knock it over. You son of a bitch horse. Come here. What are you thinking? Get out of here. I, I, he, he didn't mean to hurt you, Spear. Come here. Stand up. Oh, now he's shy. Now he's shy. There you go. There you go. There's no mean horses around to knock you down this time. Can't believe our horse did that. Betrayal. Showed him who was boss. I think we have to talk to the bailiff first anyway. Um, while we're here. That lazy sack of shit doesn't ever get up. Man, we can't lockpick any of that. Hey, we're in the bailiff's quarters. Can we lockpick any more of the stuff here? Earlier when we came here, half this stuff was very hard and we couldn't even lockpick it. Let's see if that's changed. Nope. Not that one. And all the stuff that we could lockpick, we already did. Oh, here we go. Here's one. I don't know how we didn't already lockpick that one, but. Give us some more XP. <clears throat> uh, no, you don't. So Moogle, um, yeah, it's the same thing. I, I usually, I'm playing on PC, but I have a controller. So yeah, you can, uh, 
you can just hold the uh, left D-pad and it auto-equips as long as it's in your inventory. And I think it's the same on PC. If you hold... I could be wrong. Well, here. Let's try it. Because I have my keyboard. Yep. Okay, so on PC, if you hold the one key, because that's how you take out your sword. Basically, whatever your sword input is to take out your sword, if you hold it, it auto-equips the... Uh, it auto equips the torch. So you can do it on PC as well. If you hold the one key. As long as there's a torch inventory, you'll equip it. So I'm just doing it on the D-pad. Yeah, there you go. For anyone that didn't know that little gameplay feature. You don't have to open your inventory to have a torch. Or to equip a torch. Um, why are you not letting me talk to you? Oh, do we have to talk to the scribe first? I could have sworn we had to talk to the bailiff. Apparently not for that one. Oh, you know what I'm thinking of? It's for the executioner. The executioner, we have to talk to the bailiff who sends us to the scribe. This one, we just have to talk to the scribe. I'm an idiot. My respect to you. So, uh, Latradon, we, we found a way around it. Uh, apparently, if I save, as long as I'm on the horse with the polearm, if I save and then reload it, it auto-equips the torch and the polearm. So I might have to do that, just like you said, for the integrity of the... Uh, um, for the integrity of the stream. It's a little bit glitchy, but for to make it... Uh, bearable experience for you guys i might have to do that um to the best of my knowledge if i equip the torch it drops a spear but i might have to try it on the back of a horse there we go black chronicle in fact for the vod i gotta Where is it? I'm going to be able to clip it for the VOD. Is this the Executioner's book? I think that's it. Oh, Hineka Riki. There it is. Bam. Okay. Got enough. Save Mr. Spear at all costs. Oh, don't worry. We're saving him. Me and the spear. Two peas in a pod. There he is, waiting for me. What a loyal... Not like that stupid horse. The spear actually waits for me. Yeah. Oh, you learned your lesson this time. You left Mr. Spear alone, didn't you? You fucking idiot. Um, off to Ledechko. Okay, let's try it while we're up here. What happens if I equip the torch? I'm pretty sure we're going to drop this spear. Yep, there it goes. Yep, we drop the spear if we equip the torch. But it looks like... Oh, no. Nope. Doesn't look like there's... A way to do it now there is a way to do it so watch this let's see if this is consistent if we're up mounted on the horse this is what worked earlier so this is just me theory crafting so if we're up here we drop a save and then we reload the game the game should reload with me holding the torch in one hand and the spear in the other that's what happened earlier so that might have to be the strategy if it's nighttime yep there it is okay so there is a way. Is it a little bit, little bit glitchy? Absolutely. Am I going to use it? Fuck yes, I will. <clears throat> Philip, uh, yes. Warhorse Studio live stream on April 18th at 20 hundred uh, CEST. And I will be live streaming during that time for live reaction. We're going to continue this run. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to be live streaming for that stuff like that yes kingdom come to god i hope so 
I have not wanted anything more than that from a game in a long time. I, I was legitimately had butterflies when I saw that post. Uh, Olaf, yes we can. Uh, if we dismount, we should keep both until I try to either get rid of one or the other. So even dismounting. Now, I don't know how the fighting animation is going to work. Because, see, right now we still have the torch and the spear. <gasps> oh my god. We can stab now. Oh my god. That is so powerful. Because now we can actually stab. Oh my god. Did we just develop the strategy moving forward? So for those that weren't here earlier... We cannot stab while we're on foot with a polearm, but apparently when you have a torch in your hand, you can. <gasps> oh, I'm so happy. I love video games. I really do. I it's the amount of joy that is in my soul right now. Finding a way to break the game so the spears are stabbable on foot. So, Boris, technically, no, because I have the unlimited saves mod. That's just more for the integrity of the of the stream. So if we die or something, I don't have to redo hours and hours of work. Uh, so the unlimited saves mod, you hit F5. Um, if you have Nexus mods, just hit F5 and it saves no matter what. Uh, Latradon, I agree with you. It's one of my favorite games of all time as well, and I cannot wait for the follow-up. Whatever Warhorse makes, I'm going to play. Don't get me wrong, but there will be a little bit of disappointment if it's not Kingdom Come 2. Not going to lie to you. I'm glad to see you. I'm glad to see you as well. Um... Bam, and we can stab now with a pole arm. That is huge. Yeah. So this is now the strategy for the run. Just always have a torch equipped. God be with you. Um, am I missing something here? Why can we not? You better put quiet as good day to you. Reiki. Okay, we just needed to have the option to talk to someone about Reiki. Take care. Okay. Um, actually, I just thought before we continue with the Reiki, what we said was I want to run over to Sasau real quick and get moving yeah. on getting Matthew and Fritz over here to Ledechko. And since we're already right here, we can do that. Uh, does mention KCD2. And see, here's the other reason that why I think it's going to be the follow-up game, the Kingdom Come Deliverance. They were seen at basically all the... Um, they were seen at all the locations that people were anticipating Kingdom Come 2 to go to. So that's why I think it's like they're not just making any yeah. random game. They're actually making a follow-up where, yeah. you know, they were seen in Prague, they were seen in Kutenberg... All the places where we anticipate the, the title to go, they were seen at filming and doing research and asking around. So that's why there's no doubt in my mind, especially when they're bringing back the characters, Hans Capon and uh, Tom McKay, who plays Henry. Yeah. Like, there, there's no doubt. It's just when. When is it being released? That's the only real question. Yeah, the, yeah, exactly. Yeah. The Tom McKay, the guy who plays Henry, was seen in Prague. There was a uh, post not long back where Tom McKay and um, 
the guy who plays Hans Cape on, they were reunited after a few years, so what else would they be doing other than filming voice lines and animations? Like, it's gonna be Kingdom Come 2. The, the only question that we're left with is when is it getting released? Uh, you went through collecting the stuff for the magical human armor and want to hear if it equips. Yes. Does it auto equip? Yes or no? I have a feeling the answer is no. I'm going to go ahead and say that right now. I have a feeling it does not auto equip. He puts it on for the cutscene, and that's it. But confirmation would be nice. It does not auto equip. That's what I thought. I'm, glad. I'm not surprised. <laughs> it's fine. The Vaughn braces. While you were gone, uh, we found out something absolutely incredible. Or no, maybe, uh, no, you weren't there. Uh, apparently, you can stab with pole arms as long as you have a torch equipped. So, don't even need that armor. Hey. <laughs> So as long as we have this torch equipped, we can now stab with a pole arm. Don't need that stupid armor anyway. KDC two, Kingdom Deliverance coming. Yeah. Yeah, we all knew what you meant. KCD, KDC, DKC. It's all the same. As long as it's a follow up. Yeah, the polearm glitch. Yep. Uh, the one-handed polearm glitch. So, yeah, we save on top of the horse, and once we reload, it equips the polearm in one hand and puts the torch in the other. So we always have this torch around, so not only can we now see at night, it also has the polearm. Uh, the Vaughn Braces is the only armor that auto-equips because um, you get it when... At the very start of the game, when you're doing the bow lessons with Captain Bernard, he tells you to put on the Vaughn Braces, and we've basically had it on since then. Um, so it's part of a quest, and it's to tell you that you'll flay your forearm if you use the bow without it. Yeah, that's the only one that auto-equips so far. We might be able to find some others, yeah. I feel quite yeah. hungry. I know, Henry. You're hungry. What else is new? Gotta be careful on these hills. Uh, why? It's because um, he yeah. tells you about it and you immediately go into the cutscene with the bows and you're not actually able to open your armor. So I think that's the only way that the game... Because it would be kind of fucked up if the game tells you like, oh, you flay your forearm if you fire a bow without these. And he gives them to you, but they don't equip and you can't equip, you can't equip them in your armor. Like, I, I think that's just more of, like, a quality of life thing that they did for you. Um, you know, instead of flaying your forearm to learn, they just, yeah. you know, they give you a, a quick and easy way to equip them. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I know that it is. I don't know why it is. Let's go talk to Riki's father. Hey! I'm looking for a fellow called... Shit. Ah. You wouldn't happen to... I don't know. Don't you at least know... He next show... Do you at least know when... As far as... I heard... Watch your... T I and you don't... What? <sighs> if you value... That's no surprise. It doesn't have... I oh. And you don't know where... I've got it. I don't... Find well, it's not... Don't you have... I How's that? Because... He have... As you know... Alright. What more do you know? Nothing. Bloody hell. Start using your head or I'll never find Hinek. How much time did he spend away? What was he wearing? How did he look when he came back? Anything. Well, he came and went at all sorts of hours. I really don't know. Uh, except maybe... So he probably went... I reckon. 
Don't you have it? Uh, I'd like them. Go. Okay, that's all the dialogue we have available. Please try and find it. Yeah. We need to go to that bathhouse to uh to sort out our nourishment. I really don't like having that debuff with lower stamina once we're starving. Still not able to sprint though, unfortunately, but For heaven's sake, Henry, put away that good afternoon. I'd like so I feel but I'm may the Lord want Alrighty. That sorts out the nourishment and the energy. Yes, we can. We can get the treasure. Because we do have a spade on us. I think we have to talk to her first. She tells us about the treasure. I can't believe we actually passed that. About the money. There we go. Now it's... Now it's available to us. Is it other... I heard that. True enough. Both of us. There's nothing more. No, no. I found um don't worry. No, I'm Good luck then. That's all we can get out of her. Let's go back for that treasure. Now, will this polearm trick survive through a digging cutscene? You'd better put that weapon away, or you'll be asking for trouble. Roger Rad Rabify. Oh boy, that's a tongue twister. Roger Rabify, thank you so much for uh, subscribing, man. I, I really appreciate yeah. that. Gnotus, hey, how are you, man? How you doing? Thanks for stopping in. Hopefully this Thursday. Uh, the announcement for it should be this Thursday. I'll be live streaming it, but hopefully we don't have to wait that much longer. It's what Warhorse have told us, and I cannot wait for it. Uh, we do have to be careful not to get caught. Luckily, it didn't follow us over here, and yes, it does survive. We'll take the Groshan. Don't need that. And... Yeah. Away we go! Um, also, let's talk to the Miller right here in Ledechko. I know we can talk to Teresa. I'm not going to bother going all the way back to Ratai. We can just talk to the Miller here, get Matthew and Fritz jobs, and then we'll, uh, we'll not, we'll knock out the rest of this Reiki quest. Yeah, I, I've, I've said, I think the release date is probably going to be either the holiday season around, you know, November time this year. Or not until 2025. My bet is February of 2025. Good people. Seven year, the seven year anniversary smell. of um, Fresh bread. Kingdom Come Deliverance 1. Or Kingdom Come Deliverance, uh, February 13th. I bet you it's going to be around then for KCD 2. Bread. Bread. Okay. I think the mill is up a little bit. Yeah, there's the mill. Yeah. You did the combo training trick, raise strength to 20 and agility to 12. It's pretty powerful, isn't it? I appreciate you watching. Thank you. Yeah, and I'm glad I was able to help out. It's, uh, it's a nice little handy trick. Very quick. Um, is that the mill? Yeah. That's the mill. Jesus. Oh, no, there's Thomas. I see old Thomas right there. That's the mill right there. Well, that's true, uh, Latrodon, but here's, here's the only thing that gives me hope that it's this year. The only thing. Now, I have pros and cons, uh, against it. They've already had six years with this one. Going on seven if it's in February. What's that? Get 
the other thing is the first one was just all on kickstarter so they had to like scrounge for funds to get it done what do you need this time they actually have a studio behind them so hopefully it they, they have more resources behind it to be able to to do something like that they're good safe okay we might have to you know what i'm from in the sky there we go okay we got it done you still don't understand the defense video in which you have to run um i'll try to show it on this stream i'll try to show you what i mean but basically if you run away and disengage with them and run enough far away they almost always automatically uh attack you right away so you kind of get a little bit more of a sense it's a timing thing you get a sense of when they're gonna strike you so you can always get a master strike off as opposed to standing in front of them and waiting uh i'll try to show you if we do with another tournament i'll show you how how that works but um You're right, Deep Silver did help them release KCD, but as far as all the production of it, they kind of had to do it themselves. I have a feeling right now with, uh, with Pylon supporting them throughout the entire process, I have a feeling that the development went a little bit smoother, and the release is going to yeah. go a lot smoother too. I'm hoping. I'm hoping they got a lot more playtesters this time yeah. than last time, so everything goes a little bit smoother. And, uh, but the thing working against me, the theory that it's this year. So I looked up the Pylon uh, release schedule where they have all of their different studios release dates and Kingdom Come 2 is nowhere on it and they go all the way into 2025. Now yeah. it could be that they're waiting to put that on their website until the official announcement or it could be that it's not planned for anytime soon. I'll have to check the Pylon uh, website as soon as they announce that trailer to see if they've updated it to see when the release is. But as of now, there's nothing, there's no mention of anything in Kingdom Come related. Nothing from War Horse Studios. <laughs> Shit, I've been ready. I was born ready. Can't come soon enough. There we go. We can get this timer started with Matthew and Fritz. Henry, what are you doing with that weapon in your hand? Three more days. Hey, so the monastery is in. If you say good luck, then Henry, what the miller? You really thought, of course. Thanks. Uh, the reward we haven't got. No, that we will stop by. God be with you. There we go. Good there. Um, let's go handle Riki. First, we got to take out the attackers that attack Riki. I don't want to deal with them coming out of the mine. Yeah, with the Manor Lords and the KCD2 reveal. Exactly. Manor Lords drops on what? April 26th, I believe. I might check it out. I don't know if I'm going to cover like I, I mentioned this a couple days ago. I don't think I'm going to cover Manor Lords on this channel, but I might check it out offline. Um, I really want to try and do something with more survival games. You know, I like um, strategy games, real time strategy. Um, ones like Manor Lord, ones like Banner Lord. Um, you know, I like them, but my real like passion what I love covering and breaking down and, and finding out is first person survival games yeah. with action elements. So ones like, like Kingdom Come Deliverance is yeah. right up my alley. Like this is the kind of game I would play online, offline for fun, for content. Like this is the kind of stuff. The, the other ones that I really like that I think I can make some really good content on is Green Hell yeah. or The Long Dark. Uh, first person survival games where you're battling the elements. I have a couple things in mind for green hell um, As far as challenge runs to make that game even harder So that might be where where the focus is gonna be is more on the first person games, but I might play some real-time strategy ones um, 
you know, on the side, try to get, try to get elements. I don't know. I just, I don't ever get as engaged with those as I do with these first person games. There's just something about them that I, that hits different for me. No rest for the wicked. Oh, souls like, I, I do like souls like yeah. as well. I'm not good at them, but I like them. Elden Ring, I probably put a few hundred hours in. Yeah. All right, let's take care of these bandits here. Let's save just in case. Yeah. But let's uh, let's take care of these bandits here that are after Riki. We can employ this strategy of of mounted polearm warfare. They're up here somewhere. Yeah. There it is. There's the camp. Okay. He's there. What? Mm. Oh. oh. <laughs> One tapped. Oh, I love it. God, this is OP. Especially with one-handed. Oh my god, he did not stand a chance. Fucking one-tapped. If anything, I think this might be easier than playing the normal way. Holy shit, I actually made a challenge run where it's easier to play in the challenge run than it, <laughs> than it is the standard game. <laughs> How to break Kingdom Come Deliverance uh, without your inventory. Get a polearm, do the yeah. single polearm glitch, and then just fuck everyone up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, these other two should be at the tavern, but I don't know if attacking yeah. them in broad daylight is... Now, see, two-on-one might be a little bit harder, but there they are. We don't have a chance to interact with them. I just don't get it. What don't you get? Why do we have to sniff around for some stinking tanner? Can't we just leave him be? Let's see. Let's wait it out a little bit. I want to try and get him on the, on the way out. I'd rather not have to, uh... They should be leaving any time. I want to try and get them on their way back to their camp. There they go. Okay. So they should be either on the way back or already back at the camp. Yeah. And those might be a little bit tougher since they have some armor. But either way. You gotta try a spear run. I mean, it's fun so far. Just yeah. good luck keeping them, uh, keeping them fully stocked. We kind of gotta pray to the RNG gods that enough people drop these. Okay, so he's still dead, and the other two are not back in the area. So they've got to be walking. Yeah. Uh, they've got to be somewhere on the way back. Let's see if we can't find them and take them out. There they are. That's them. Yeah. All right. Initiate spear thrust. Go. Got yeah. him. He's yeah. dead. Got him. He's not yeah. dead. We didn't get a great hit on him, but we'll charge up a second one. Yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> it's just too easy. <laughs> now, I will say for anyone that tries this, it is a little bit awkward to get the timing. You have to strike almost like a good one second before you think you need to. Uh, it's it's taking a little bit of adjusting to get the timing right for it. But, uh, yeah, it's, I mean... If this isn't a showcase on how powerful pole arms are, I don't know what is. They are pretty overpowered.
That's all we really need. All right. Jousting time? Yeah. Who here has seen, uh... Um... The one with Heath Ledger. Yeah. The movie with Heath Ledger, uh... Knight's Tale? I feel like Heath Ledger. That, that should be, uh... That should be our... Our character. It's not that bad with melee. I just don't like how little reach it has. I feel like it's a lot more powerful with a pole arm because you have to be like right up on them and then, um, well, so we are able to stab. Oh, you have to hold the pole arm and repair it. Yes. Uh, or go to a merchant and have them repair it and it goes into your inventory. this we were actually able to to do this uh they can be um so i found this out i thought about this run yeah. and thought like would i be able to just hold on to one uh one pole arm for the duration of the run so i tried to have it repaired and after it got repaired it it got put straight into my inventory which normally would be amazing because that means I could hold on to it but for this run it means it's no longer accessible so it's a it's a pro and con um, for a normal run if you just want to do it with uh, with pole arms um, just take it over to any repair merchant and it'll get put into your inventory so it is a glitch um, but for this one unfortunately it's not something that's yeah. available to me so we're gonna need a constant fresh supply of pole arms <laughs> oh, Rick Von Lichtenstein! I love that announcer. Uh, the the one that Ulrich gets uh gets to announce for him. The one, the only. God, that is such a good movie. I might have to watch that again. It's it's one of my favorite Heath Ledger movies, and he had some bangers. But that one's up there. We got to find this, uh, this cave. Okay. I think we're close. I think that's the river we got to cross. Yeah. It's somewhere out here in a clearing, which I think that might honestly be it. Right here? No. Different one. Um. Yeah. Uh, so basically, you repair it. It goes up to 100%. It goes into your inventory. You go into your inventory. You drop it in front of you. You pick it up. It's at 100, but yeah, once you use it yeah. a few times and it gets kind of, you know, messed up, then you just take it back. It goes into, yes, but yeah, if you want to put it back in your inventory, it has to, it has to get repaired, but I believe it'll work with a repair kit. So you might not necessarily have to go to a merchant, um, yeah. to do it. I believe it works with repair kits as well. So as long as you have a repair kit, you can repair it and it goes back into your inventory. And I, I think someone mentioned there's a mod as well. If you download a mod, you can actually put, uh, put pole arms into your inventory. Yeah. But I think you're way off. I very well might be. Yeah. That's, that's not out of, uh... <laughs> yeah. That's... Not an inaccurate description of, of me trying to bumble my way, trying to find Riki. We got to go back down. So I know how to get there almost yeah. immediately from, yeah. from here. Okay. So that's Ledechko. It's out this way. Okay. I, I think, I think we're, yeah. we're in the ballpark right now. I think it's up here. And if it's not, then I'm just stupid. 
got to try and do this from memory since I don't have the map. Yeah. Be a lot easier with the map, but unfortunately. Yeah. Unavailable. Okay, so roe deer yeah. hunting, that's... Yeah, we went... Yeah. yeah, the woodcutters isn't far. If I can even find the woodcutters, I can find it easily, but I don't know where either of them are off the top of my head. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Hang on. This looks familiar. This yeah. looks familiar. I'm hopeful. <laughs> Rompel, shame on you for ever doubting. Or Olaf, shame on you. I've played the game before. I knew I was close. Uh, I, I knew I couldn't be far. Raza, you're right. I hope that the modding scene improves with KCD2. I think it's going to bring a, a lot, a lot new players in. Especially given the fact that Skyrim is as old as it is right now, I think some of the modders are going to say, but some of those modders that are available for Skyrim, I think they're going to transfer over for Kingdom Come. Because this would be such a moddable game. Um, you know, all the mods that are available for uh, for Bannerlord. If we can even get half of those guys, would have a great modding scene with, with the new Kingdom Come game. I won't tell anyone. I swear, I've no one to tell anyway. Just please don't kill me. I'm not planning to kill you. You're, you're not one of Runt's men? No. Huh. Then who are you? I come here in the name of Sir Radzik Kapila and so Got no idea what you're- Save your breath. Jesus. So? Fine. Then. Okay, here's the real question, chat. What are we doing with Riki? Are we arresting him? Are we letting him go? Or are we killing him? We were up to it to grab some so send your answers now while we're talking to him. What do we do with Riki? What do you mean, Runt's cutthroat? There were two Are we feeling generous? Mine and Runt's. But when you realize what they had. But we didn't. They told us to keep when I spoke. That gang of yours. Don't know what. I'm sure I have a feeling I know what you guys are all going to vote for. It's usually pretty ruthless here in the chat. But I could be wrong. Maybe, maybe the new Warhorse announcement has you guys feeling some kind of way. You're feeling generous. You're, you're giving. Okay, let him go. Let him go. Oh, wow. Let him go. Wow. Jail. <laughs> Rompel's feeling, feeling violent. <laughs> so far, we've got three, four for let him go. Mostly, so Pius need I suppose, but I don't know where from. We even got paid up. Yeah. I should have known from the start. Modded Skyrim is another world. Where did the rest of your gang you saw? Yes. I don't know which mill. The wind Wow, wind. I'm surprised. I'm I'm proud of you guys. I really am. We've got four votes for let him go. It's usually Did just you know like a a list of kill, kill, oh, kill, 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 kill. Yeah. That warhorse announcement has you guys feeling pretty generous. All right, we'll let him go. Murder. <laughs> There's always one. <laughs> There's always one that's just kill him. No matter who it is, kill him. This playthrough doesn't feel like jail. Yeah. Tell me exactly. Oh, meanwhile, what did you? And it was. What happened? I'm feeling generous too. You know, Warhorse got me in a good mood. What happened? There we haven't let him go yet. He'll actually get away because we already killed his attackers. You're coming with me. There we go. We're letting him go. We're letting him go. Don't suppose there's any chance you might turn a blind eye. Why should I? I didn't do nothing all that bad, and I told you everything I know. You can tell them yourself, and leave me here. Enslave. In weeks, I'll pack up and clear off. Well, so Rompel, here's the only thing I'm going to counter against that. Would us taking him to jail drop our polearm? Because I'm thinking the two options really are kill him or let him go. Because I have a feeling, in the back of my mind, if we go into that fast travel scene where we where we uh, go to the Ratai jail, I have a feeling we drop the pole arm right here and it doesn't travel with us. So that's why I'm, I'm more leaning towards uh, not jailing him, either killing him or letting him go, and it sounds like the, the consensus is let him go. 
So I'm thinking just for gameplay purposes, let's let him go. Let's 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 Money do something good. There we go. We got some reputation out of that. We can feel good. We can sleep easy at night knowing so. he's out there. I'll remember this till the day. Imagine I a hobo comes into your cave with a spear, tells you it works for. I'll do my best. <laughs> I promise. That would be quite the visual. You got a hobo with bomb brace on that that meets you at your resting place and tells you he's arresting you because he works for nobility. <laughs> Ask him. Yes, we're actually going to be live streaming for that. Um, for reactions, and we're we're trying to see where. Where Warhorse is uh, leading us, so we will be live for that. Cannot wait. Genuinely cannot wait. Okay. We've done our good deed for the day. Now we can be an asshole. We've let Riki go, and we killed his attacker, so he's actually free to go. Yeah. Now, the next step is the mill. Now, do we want to do... The mill and Timmy, or do we want to go straight to Privis Lovitz? I don't, we haven't actually done the mill yet on any of these playthroughs. Usually I try to skip it, but I do want to do the mill. And, uh, hmm. I don't know if that's such a good idea to go into the camp. I have a feeling we die if we go into the camp. Like we help them kill Timmy. And get instructions on how to get into, uh... Um... Dud Buffern? Um... I'm, I'm just gonna call you Dud if that's okay. Uh, or Dude. Dud kind of sounds yeah. a little bit insulting, but just so I don't have to say that. So, dude, um, I agree with you, but if they do get a bigger map, I want it to serve a purpose. I don't mind a smaller map as long as it's full. And this one, you're right, it's not the biggest map in the world, but it's interactive. You can make your way around it. I don't want them to get caught in the, um, yeah. the Assassin's Creed where they think bigger is always better. Like, it's a decent-sized map. There's a lot to do, but everything has a purpose. The villages are a good size. They're they're well-populated with civilians. There's some countryside. There's mountains. There's hills. I don't want them to get caught in that mindset of that Assassin's Creed got into, or we'll just make the maps bigger and bigger and bigger, and there's fuck all to do in them. Like, is there really all that much purpose? Would, would uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla have been a worse game if the map was a bit smaller and a little bit more concise like it just felt like they just blew up the map for no real reason to me it's still a decent game but i just a smaller map would have benefited that game a lot because there's a lot that just it doesn't really serve a purpose it just makes the travel times more you know so if they do go with a bigger map if they can make it engaging absolutely but going bigger for just no sake at all, uh, I'm, I'm not interested. If they keep the same map size but make it engaging, I'm all for it. Yeah, I've, I've completed it a lot too. Um, but see, I don't mind it. Every, every little bit serves a purpose. And maybe compared to some of these newer RPGs, it might feel smaller. Uh, I don't have a problem with the map size now, and like I said, as long as they can make it serve a purpose, if they go bigger, great. If they don't, I'm fine with that. Just make it engaging. Yeah, exactly, Olaf. It's a good balance. I'd agree with that. What are we back here for? We came back here for a reason, but I don't know what it is. Oh, we got to go to the mill, so that's going to be up you? towards Ledechko. What? <laughs> Who am I? Who are you? Um, 
I think we will. I think there's going to be Prague, Gutenberg. I think there's going to be a lot of new cities added. A, a few new castles as well. That'll be welcome. Like, imagine a few different townbergs. And I'm hoping, really hoping, we get to own our own castle. Or a little, little land plot. Because we are nobility now. Remember, at the end of the game, we are nobility. It, it doesn't make sense for it to be in the first game, but... I mean, if Henry could, you know, own a little land plot of his own, you know, maybe not a full city, but like a little, little manor. I think that would be a much welcome addition. And just run. <laughs> that would be pretty funny, yeah. We can do that. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be a, a fight on site, and hopefully we don't drop our pole arm, but just for comedy's sake, we can go ahead and do that. Yeah. GTX 1650. How does it run with Kingdom Come 1? Like, are you able to do, like, high high graphics and everything or medium? Because I'm pretty sure if you're stuck at medium, it... I hate to tell you, I don't know if it will. Because I have a... Uh, a 30... An RTX 3070... But it's on a laptop, so it's not quite as powerful as a full-size uh, box unit. But Good I'm morning. able to run most of the settings on ultra high, but it's it taxes that GPU. Like, it's like it's at its what? wit's end. So I have a feeling I'm probably going to need to upgrade. If I want to run on ultra high and stream and do all the stuff that I do, I'm, I'm probably going to have to upgrade my system. Medium graphics? Like yeah. Need someone to treat. As you wish. Do you have the coin? Fine. I'm sure you'll be extremely satisfied. Goodbye. I could do with a bite to eat. I mean, medium settings up uh, 60 FPS is pretty decent. Because, I mean, the only thing you really need ultra high for is if you're really trying to showcase. And even that, ultra high, I think, is even currently, even though the game is six years old, I think, like, RTX 4080 might be the only thing that can run everything on ultra high. Yeah. Or maybe an RTX 4090, which those are too grand just for the, for the graphics card itself. So, don't feel bad. That is probably what I'm going to upgrade to is either a 4080 or a 4090, but that's towards the end of the year. I don't plan on doing that anytime soon. Um, we got our nourishment and everything. I can do with a bite to eat. Caleb, what's going on? Just visit a bathhouse. That's what that's what Henry just did. He doesn't need a bite to eat anymore. Yeah, as he's at the bathhouse, he's talking about how hungry he is. Uh, is there a tournament going on? I'd really like to do a tournament. No, there isn't. Yeah. I know we can wait for one. I don't like doing that. It feels like it's kind of wasting time. Put that weapon away before someone... Ow! Um, well, yeah. shit. I'd say it's as good a time as any to go ahead and knock the mill out. Yeah. We might as well. We don't have anything else going right now. Uh, yeah. Maybe after Privis Lovitz, we can do some more side quests. But the main thing I yeah. want to get done today is get through Privis Lovitz. Go th get through the runt fight and see how we're looking as far as our as far as our build. We can get through runt fairly yeah. fairly easily. I, I I feel good about finishing out this run because yeah. I don't I can't imagine there's anything else that we actually need our inventory for moving forward. Or even during the run fight, but that's just a, a keystone battle that's going to open up a lot more um, side quests for us, some more activities for us to do, some more tomfoolery to partake in. That's going to be a big one. So let's go ahead. We'll get to that point in the main quest and see how we're looking. Oh, you have a 3060 Ti? How does that run the game? I've always been curious in the 30 series, because like I said, I have a 3070, um, and it runs fantastic. How does the 3060 Ti, I believe they have the same processing power, the 3060 Ti and the 3070, they're right around the same uh, processing power, the same RAM speed. 
small small nap before work <laughs> only an eight hour shift here's hoping but hey anything over eight hours is some good overtime so I'm never opposed to overtime Oh, you finally yeah. ordered a new chair. That's right. We were talking about uh, gaming chairs the last time. Which one did you end up going with, Caleb? What brand and uh, what what type of chair? That's still pretty good. See, I run mine on 1080 just because I have OBS Studios recording and streaming at the same time. I could probably get away with 1440p because that's what my monitor is. Um, but I I'd rather wait. I, I don't want to overtax the system. Uh, the very first ever live stream I did on this channel, if you ever go back on the page, um, in the middle of my very first ever stream, my entire computer crashed. So I had to re-upload, or I had to re-go live and all that stuff. It was a whole big debacle, so I've been, I've been very conservative on what I run this game on, uh, while I live stream. Offline, I run at 1440p and usually average anywhere from 80 to 100 FPS. But while live streaming and OBS Studios is running in the background, I, I don't want to push it. Because crashing in the middle of a live stream is just embarrassing. <laughs> I was like, you've got to be shitting me the first time ever. We're not off to a good start. <laughs> Oh, you have a 4K monitor? That's another thing on my agenda before the end of the year. Is a, a 4K monitor, so it's going to help out so much with making thumbnails and editing. That's that's the real thing I, I want a 4K monitor for. I found some decent ones. What uh, what brand of monitor do you have, if you don't mind me asking, Latradon? I'm curious, because I've heard a lot of good stuff about Samsung, MSI, but I've also heard a lot of bad, so I'm curious what you have and what your thoughts yeah. on it is Raza I agree with you yeah FS3 and and DLSS <coughs> maybe a little bit of ray tracing help boost the uh, the FPS a little bit Asus And Downex gaming chair. That's the other one that I've actually seen a lot, uh, Caleb, is uh, Asus. That's another one I'm looking into. Screw Samsung. <laughs> hey, look, I just go off reviews. I'm not necessarily going for uh, the manufacturer. If it's got good reviews, I'll try it. I'm not sticking shit in my belt. Do you have any idea how long it took for us to get this pole arm in one hand? Away, or you'll be asking for My respect. Do you know a complete numbskull? Aye. Yes, he I think they add crossbows. They were supposed to add crossbows in this one. But something came up with production, but I 100% think that crossbows are going to be in the next one. 100%. Where the f is Mirka? <coughs> Out this way? Is she inside? I think she is. And 32 UC. I'll have to check that one out too. I'll I'll clip the uh I'm looking for a I'll clip the chat. The name of Timmy. I heard he works here. Oh, I don't know so Silverwing, like it's a little bit glitchy. A little bit. But yes, you can. <laughs> Uh, I think there's a couple different ways to do it the way I'm forced to do it So I think one of the ways if you repair the pole arm it gets put into your inventory And you can somehow equip it from there the way I do it you mount up on a horse with the pole arm in your hand you save you reload and as the save reloads your your torch automatically goes into Your left hand and your pole arm stays in your right hand. So it is a little bit of a bug little bit of a glitch but hey it's within the rules we did not open our inventory to do it so i'm calling it good all the others know. but not him and here we go we're about to betray um 
more cock. I, I haven't done the, uh... I haven't done this quest traditionally in quite a few playthroughs now. Usually I just go straight to Privis Lovitz, but, uh, just for the, the comedy of taking his money and then telling him I have no idea hey, where, where Timmy head. is, is amazing. HS sounds legit? I think so. We're within the rules. I never said no glitches on this stuff. And it's not a glitch; it's a gameplay element. Isn't that what? Isn't that what all RPGs with glitches have? The Skyrim, the uh, the restoration potions. It's not a glitch; it's a feature. Here I am. So, why all the secrecy? What do you want? See, I don't see myself using the crossbows if they're included in the second game, and I'll tell you exactly why. I don't really use them in Bannerlord because they're slow to load. They do a lot of damage, but. It's like, not very smart, you see. I don't know, I'd rather use bows. There's something about bows friends. that I prefer over and crossbows. Now, a lot of people disagree. It's nice to be able to probably get a one-shot kill, but it, you only get that one. By the time you reload, the other enemies are already going to be on you. That's good. There we go. If he's hiding at the Colburn farm over by Merhoyed... Dun dun dun! I get the feeling you're looking for someone here. I'm looking for someone too. Mechanically, they are pretty neat, hey, Silverwing. I will, I will give you that. Hmm. And who are you looking for? A great big ox by the name of Timmy. Fishing would be cool. The same way they did in, like, Red Dead Redemption 2. I think they could do a lot with fishing. And make Henry be able to swim. I get why they did it for this one, but teach Henry how to swim. Maybe that can be... That can be your new learning mechanic. He already knows how to read. Now he has to go to swimming school so we can fucking swim across a small little stream that's about that deep. That can be our that can be our, uh, our our hindrance in Kingdom Come 2. He never learned how to swim, and now he goes to swimming school. That's interesting. I'm also looking for a big ox called Timmy. Well, what are the chances? Could it be the same fellow? I wonder. Now, if someone were to tell me where to find Timmy, I might offer that man a job. We could use a smart fellow like that at the camp. Here we go. We're going to ask for money. We're, we're going to go through all the dialogue that we can. We're going to ask him for money, get half of it, and then tell him we have no idea where he is. Where is it? All in good time. First proof we can trust you. Help us find Timmy. All right. I'll tell you where he is. Really? We're all Christians here, aren't we? Why not help thy neighbor? Especially if he pays two score groschen. Ha! You wouldn't be my cousin by any chance. I'll give you two dozen, no more. Half now, and half when we find him. Deal. There we go. I don't know no where, he where he is. I reckon I'll have to try my luck elsewhere. Think you can get away with that? Take my coin and then say you know nothing? Where the fuck is he? I think I could get away with it. He's in Ratai. I he's hiding in Ratai. Oh, yeah? I have yeah, a feeling we fail this. I, yep. I don't know. You'll have to find him yourself. Sounds like a pile of horseshit to me. Stop wasting my time and spit it out. You don't know when to give up, do you? The one who has the upper hand does as he pleases. Hopefully this doesn't make us drop our pole arm. True. Only you don't have the upper hand. The answer to my prayer. <coughs> oh. Just I wanted to vent my rage on someone. Oh god, there's four of them? Oh, he gave up. Oh, and that one's an archer. Oh my god, wait. We can do master strikes with this. Oh god, oh my goodness. That's it, we're dead. Run's dead. As soon as we start bleeding, that's it, yep. <laughs> it was a valiant effort. That's what- oh god, when was our last save? Does anyone remember when our last save was? It might be back in Ratai. 
Oh no. Is this really what it was? Oh, it is in Ratai. Okay, so I think it's I think it's the morning of. Okay, we should just have to go back to the farm. Yep. As soon as we bleed, that's it. This like I said, this build is a glass cannon. We can deal a lot of damage, but the second we have any coming back at us, we're pretty much screwed. Uh I might have to try to mount. Cause taking on four of them is pretty tough. But big news. Big news. We can do master strikes while this is equipped in one hand, which means it's not looking good for old Runt. Well, it's looking like Runt might be a uh, uh, foregone conclusion. If if we can get through that cutscene and still have this equipped in one hand, I think Mr. Runt is pretty fucked. Yeah, glass cannon Henry. I'm pretty sure we already did all the Reiki stuff. I can't remember how far back this, uh, that save was. I should have saved. That was, that was on me. I'm stupid. I should have saved. But I didn't. I figured we can get through it, but... You win some, you lose some. Yeah, it was a longsword tap on the head. You're right. That's the same animation. Just win the speed check this time? I'd rather fight him and kill him. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'll tell you what, we'll win the speech animation, we'll still attack him. So we get the extra speech XP, and they won't be expecting us, and it'll give us a chance, mostly it'll give us a chance to mount up on the horse, and we can fucking crounce him. Uh, the plan is coming together. The plan is here. The problem is you drop it after the cutscene. That's what I figured. That's what someone had told me the last time. Um, that the cutscene, it, it travels with you, but it drops. So you have to pick it up. So I was expecting that, but... So yeah, maybe it won't be with, uh, with one-handed, but... We'll still have the pole arm up there with Runt. We'll just have to, uh, we'll have to be patient. Perfect block him and, and just take our opportunity. Because the thing is, when you have a pole arm, he can't master strike you back. That's big. Because that means we can't just get one shot while attacking. So that's already good news, but we might not be able to master strike him. Okay, yeah, we didn't lose that much progress. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Uh, but yes, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get a little bit of... ...of speech. So we can actually pass that speed check. So we'll drop a bard potion into the pot. We'll eat from it. It should raise our speech. And now we should be able to pass that uh, cutscene. What are you playing at with that weapon? Yes, and we're gonna save. Uh, as soon as Mirka gets over to the mill, we'll save. Watch it. As soon as we can find her. Here. This will give us the marker to find her. Where is she? Now this is going to be the new mission. Finding Mirka. Where is this woman? Am I crazy? Did I walk right by her? We can also tell them where Timmy is. You're right. I think you get a little bit more speech XP for passing the speed check though, so... I feel like they would have to run a little bit further to get the rat eye. I mean, we can do either one. We'll still take their money. And then we'll lie to him and tell him he's in rat eye. Kind of double up. Not only do we get money, we get speech XP, and we still get to kill him. But yeah, there we go. Listen, our our speech is now at eleven. I have to warn it. My God, but not him. There we go. 
And as soon as she gets back here, we'll save. Oh, come on. Don't you get her horse all set. I wonder, we can't die from this, can we? No, it just pushes us back. Can we get up on top of it, though? No, we can't. Stop trying to mess around while you don't have a save. This is, this is most of the times when I die. Is from messing around and be just being generally stupid. Okay, so she is in position. Drop a save. And let's talk to her. Here I am. What do you He's hiding at the Colburn farm over by Merroyed. We're not gonna watch that whole cutscene again. I want money. Deal. I don't know where he is. Think you can all right, now let's lie. I hear he's Hopefully this time we'll pass it. Oh yeah? Where in Rat's Eye? He's at the butchers. There's that worked, and now well, as they go, me if I take that with a grain of salt. we'll take them out one I'll by one. Leave Radan here to keep an eye on you. Oh, will you now? your own protection, you know. Come with us if you've got the stomach for it. If not, come and find us in the Samapesh Tavern when it's all over. Or we'll find you. Come on, boys. So first things first, we got to take out Radon. All right. So this levels the playing field. Because now we're mounted and they don't. Now we have a friend. There we go. I should have waited for him to get out in the open. Let's get him out here. I feel like my chances of getting clipped on the environment are far yeah. less. And I think they still do have an archer. Yep, there he is. Oh, God. That hurt. That really hurt. Luckily, it only hit us in the arm, but still, I don't want to take yeah. another one. Oh, God. He's going to shoot. Yeah. All right. We got to take him out. He's going to be a problem. There it is. Yeah. I don't think any of the rest of them have any archery. Yeah. Oh, missed. Where's the other two? Oh, he's dead. Oh, wow. We killed him. Uh, where is the last? There should be two of them. There should be more cock and... Oh, there's one. Oh, he's trying to run away. Nope. No running. And now one left. There he is. Oh, he's giving up. No, 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 no. No surrender. What's that Judas Priest song? Yeah. But no surrender. Uh-uh. You get back here. You take your ass kicking like yeah. a man. You tried to four on one me. Uh-uh. How do we get agility for a polearm kill? <laughs> You'd think it would be strength. I guess you get a, a little bit of each. Uh, nothing good there. But we will take the lockpicks, though. And the gold. Uh, there should be one more on the road where we killed him. Or near the road. There he is. And then the other two should be in that courtyard. Yes. Absolutely. Oh, we don't need the bandage. Doesn't do us any good. Okay, we only lost 21 health on the arrow hit. I would have thought it would be more, but I guess it it damaged us yeah. less since it only hit us in the arm as opposed to, like, the chest or the head. 
Because that is relative. Where it hits you does matter. There's Radon. And then where's Morcock? He's around here somewhere. I know we killed him. We counted all four bodies, didn't we? Are you telling me to put my weapon away? Did you not just see me get attacked? This weapon stays out. Fucking idiot. Telling me to put my weapon away. I'm getting attacked from all sides here. This weapon stays out. Till I deem it worthy to get put away. Is this Morcock? No, that's a rock. God, what a moron. Thinking that's a body. I know we took him out. We countered four, didn't we? Yeah, I hit you in the Vumbrae. That's a good point. They had to have. They did save me. That stopped me from bleeding. See? Already paying off. Are they doubled up? What the hell? Where is the last one? To the right? Let's let's mount up on our horse so I get a little bit I, I can't find him. Maybe he's just down in the foliage. This'll give me a little bit yeah. better of a of a viewpoint. Oh there he is. Good call. Good call. Lucas, very excited and um what am I hoping for? I'm hoping for the announcement of Kingdom Come 2 and we get a little bit of gameplay features and just a... I have a feeling it's just going to be a teaser trailer. I don't know if there's going to be any... Uh, the other right? Well, then that's yeah. left. That was to the right. We were facing this way, were we not? So that's one, two, three... Oh, well, it's not important. I mean, uh, it, it's nice to be able to loot them, but I could have sworn. What are you playing at with that weapon? I don't want to spend too much time on on looting minimalistic stuff. Um, yeah. Okay, but we got that done on our very first try. We didn't even have to go back or anything. That was that was easy. That was way too easy. Yeah. Oh, when yeah. you were facing the other way, my bad. It's okay. Um, it, we only lost out on maybe like twenty groschen. It's not. It's not a big deal. It's nice to be able to loot them, but it's not necessary. We have. I'd say we probably have enough groschen to finish out the game. Yeah. We can. We can pretty much buy. Any of the stuff that we need to buy, we need to head on down to Samopesh, and that little Colbin Mill should be right there. Uh, I don't know if it's going to show the gameplay. Um, I'm hoping so, but it might be early enough in the cycle where all they might have is, like, yeah. some of the cutscenes, or maybe, um, you know, they just kind of render in some, some plot points, maybe. Wait, no, that's Talonburg. That is 100% Talonburg. We yeah. went the wrong way. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's going to have gameplay. I think it's just going to kind of introduce some of the story elements. It's going to have like a cinematic trailer where it's going to introduce what the story is, what the game is called, and what the release date is. Uh, that's what I have a feeling. And I think we might have a gameplay trailer showcasing the gameplay probably a little bit closer to the release which i have a feeling is still quite some time away probably not screenshots i i think they will have like a full-on trailer if not a trailer then at least a teaser something that that's visual and animated like I said, maybe not a full-blown trailer, but at least a teaser. I think they will. Yeah, uses add-up sense of direction. Unfortunately, it's my sense of direction that's being used, which is why I'm so dog shit at it. 
I know the map pretty well, but it's it's pretty hard. Because see, traditionally I could just, you know, pass that cross and open the map yeah. and see where I'm at. Now I just have to guess. And I'm a pretty shitty fucking guesser. <laughs> if you can't tell. Hey, Timmy. How are you today? I'm all right. Uh, have we met? We have now. Huh? Oh, oh shit. What do you want? Shit. I saw what you did at Neuhof. What are you talking about? All right. You weren't there. Are we feeling generous I, twice? I mean, I wasn't there. Kill Timmy or let around. him go. You Put your votes in now. Riki. I heard all about it. We already let Riki go. Are we letting this one go? About a whole camp Are we killing him? Sons. And I want to find it. I need to find it. Yeah. Can we go two for two? But, but why should I trust you, though? You might be one of them. Pretending to not be one of them. Oh, shit. Our bard potion went away. Why would I be trying to catch you out? Kill, kill. For Christ's sake, man. <laughs> Pretty standard stuff. Like that's a, that's what I'm used to seeing in the chat. <laughs> Overwhelming shit, kill votes. Shit. What will I do? Shit. I don't <coughs> know where their camp is. Yeah, I knew I that's couldn't get too question. too merciful uh too merciful votes out of you guys. You <laughs> I agree with you. We kill them. Well, once I was there with them, yeah. Only I was pretty drunk. So I'm not try to remember. It was in the woods. In some kind of woods, you know, with a, ch a, a church. There was a church there. Oh, great. Thanks a lot. Now it's all clear to me. It was straight north. If you go further on, uh, you go. You keep Better than nothing. But you won't tell nobody about Neuhoff, right? He deserves you it. Promise. I agree. You have to you confess. You took part in that massacre, Timmy. People got killed and the farm <coughs> was burned down. You can't expect to get away with it just like that. Come with me to Ratai. They'll know what to do with you there. No, no. I, I won't go anywhere with you. They'd hang me. What do you expect? That you can join a gang of robbers to go thieving, murdering and burning and nothing will happen to you? Come with me and at least you'll die like an honest Christian. Never. You might as well kill me here and now. That can be done too. Fair enough. Your wish is my command. What's the matter? You look a bit careworn. I'm frightened out of my wits. Did you hear about Liberty? Let's display him so no one else thinks it's okay. Oh, I was trying to put him on top of the table. Where where can we display him as a message to others? Let's try to... Oh, no, it's only going to let me... Okay, hang on. I have an idea. I have an idea. We'll grab his body up here. There it is. Oh, what? It doesn't let you put him on top... <laughs> <laughs> if anything, that's even more. It has an air of mystery to it. How did he get down there? And he can stare at him when they leave out of the doorway. He just has that upside down stare. So let me paint the visual for you. You come out, you see this mace, and you just look, and it's... Oh, my God. He found Alex pretty fast. <laughs> Yeah, we found the guy, uh, we found the guy to give deer meat to in Rata. It was, uh, it was pretty quick. Yeah, it was, a, like, record time. I think we found him in, what, like, five seconds? It was, yeah, it was no problem whatsoever. We did, we definitely didn't, you know, do five laps around the whole city, uh, trying to look for Alex. Yeah. It was pretty impressive, really. Um, you know, expert gameplay. How quick I was able to find him. Quite proud of that one. Yeah. 
Yeah, no one mourns his death. Well, I mean, yeah, he's kind of an asshole. The horse got stuck. Not the first time, and it probably won't be the last. Oh, God. Why do I feel like this? You know what? I'm going to save. I, I feel like, yep, no. This this hill is a bit of an issue for me. I'm going to die. I know I will. If I try to go down that hill the way it is, I'm going to die. Let's, let's find the soldier's camp. Let's be smart here. And there should be a little pathway that leads us down. Take it, yay. Yeah, you haven't yeah. missed much. Just a lot of tomfoolery. I feel like you could say that about all my streams. It's just a stupid thing to stupid thing, especially with challenge runs. You just try to find ways to break the game and, and kind of sit back and the game yeah. takes care of the rest of it for you. <laughs> I wish you could mount him up on the table. Oh, here's something that I don't see enough people talking about. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. Um, I want Kingdom Come 2 to have, uh, limbs and decapitations. Like, have a little bit more of, um, of an emphasis where if you're using, like, maces, it can break an arm and actually cripple yeah. a limb. Or if you're using a sword against an unarmed, unarmored opponent, you can actually, like, cut their head off or cut an arm off. That would be fucking amazing. Yeah. Think how much cool shit you could do with that. Tell me what you guys think, but I think that's a, a must-have for the second game. To be able to actually decapitate opponents or, you know, cut certain limbs off. That would be uh, yeah. absolutely incredible. Yeah. More gore would be cool, yeah. What is this? Like a VAT system without the pause? Yeah, yeah maybe. Something like that. Or uh, like a kill animation. Like, if, uh, uh, I don't know how well they can implement it, but something similar to like in Skyrim, where if you get have a certain perk or something and the enemy's health is low enough, you decapitate them for the final blow. Yeah. Or like maybe, yeah, like a kill animation or something. That would be cool. But it would be even cooler if they could do it seamlessly. Like if you hit them at a certain place, like maybe they're starting an attack. You still have to time it. You still have to time it right. But maybe when they draw the weapon back, if you're able to stab them, it stabs them through the chest. Or, you know, if you swing as they're starting their kill animation. Like a more refined way of doing a master strike that actually requires skill and timing. Because I don't like how it's just the one push. Like, don't get me wrong, I abuse the shit out of it. Because it's a gameplay feature. Um, but as far as a master strike, the fact that you're able to pretty much OP kill any enemy that you want just at the start of their animation with one button, I think it would be a lot cooler if it was timing based and like maybe if you attack them at the start of their animation. You get like a special, you know, crippling or, you know, you can decapitate them, but it actually requires yeah. like skill and timing to pull off. So you can't just spam it. Yeah. All right. We're going to do a, a run through here. Yeah. I think we have to go out the back way yeah. and activate. Oh my God. That's a lot of them. Aha. Uh -huh. yeah, Not today. Oh god, and an ambush. Oh god, why do we go this way? <laughs> um, I don't think it's gonna let us say that we've been to, uh, Privislovitz unless we follow the pathway that Timmy gave us. So we have to backtrack a little bit, and then we'll go back. Yeah. He might have been a good guy, I don't know. I did not want to slow down and get ambushed, so... If you guys were offended by me hitting a random civilian, I apologize, but this is no time to, uh, no time to mess about. Yeah. That's what I said, Simon. I meant more, um, 
like if they could implement it so kind of like the same animations as uh the master strike except now it's you know something different either like either a decapitation yeah no i don't want its own special system to where it can glitch and stuff it's just me kind of talking like what i would like to see out of it i think it would be cool if they could implement it but Son of a bitch. You know what? I think we needed to go see Radzik first before we go investigate. I'm not going to lie to you. I think that's why it didn't trigger. We have to... Yeah, we got to go back. We got to backtrack a little bit. We got to go see Radzig. He'll tell us how to... Uh, that he wants us to... To investigate and poison them, and then we can actually go back to Privis Lovitz. Yes, yeah. this Thursday is the announcement. Like if you use Red Dead Redemption 2, the Deadeye. See, I don't want it to intrude that much into the gameplay. Kind of like the Vats or the Deadeye, but just I'm saying instead of the Master Strike, instead of pushing the, the button to block, like you push the attack button and that gives you the extra animation, but you still have to time it just right. Something unintrusive. The kill cams are the most satisfying part. I would agree. They did a good job with it. Um, they can glitch a little bit, but how painful. How painful you are right it is uh it is one of the most but how painful is it when that kill cam animation is used on you like the game cuts to third person you know you're dead get fucking trounced by a dragon or uh like a bandit chief and he fucking hits you over the head with a two-handed uh weapon it's it's just so like demoralizing when it happens to you it's amazing when it happens to someone else but god when it happens to you it is there's there's a certain level of pain associated with it. Yeah, more coverage would be good, Latradon. Yeah. Definitely would be. Keep us in the loop. <laughs> okay, let's talk to Radzig. And this should give us the ability to go down to... Yeah, that's it. That's why I didn't trigger. Got to speak to old Radzig. God be with you, Henry. Sir. Godwin, he was sent. So when he... I imagine... I have some new... Good. I went to... Indeed. I found out... You're doing a good... I'm afraid my... Hmm. I might have expected as much. Tell me the worst. This Riki fellow was hiding out in the woods, and his former... It seems they wanted no part in the killing. Those murdering whore sons weren't after loot. Sacra. That's all I found. All right. About that in... What is it, lad? <laughs> People would die of starving if it was in VR. That, uh, that would definitely be me. I would probably die of sleep deprivation before starving. I would just collapse. <laughs> I think when this game came out, I probably stayed up like four days straight. Like, I would go to work, come back from work, start playing. All the way through the night, go straight back to work, come back from work, stay up playing. Which is not healthy. I do not recommend that whatsoever. Because by the fifth day, I was like seeing shit that wasn't there. But God, it was... It hooked me so bad. It was the, it was the classic hook that, uh, that a video game can have on you. And it just it refused to let go. Certainly, sir. That's what I like. You'll be off. I'll find out. I'll be with you. So I'm going to say right now, we're not going to sabotage the camp. And the reason for that is I don't want to poison all the cooking pots because I plan yeah. to use them during the battle. So for anyone expecting a big, uh, a big clearing out of, um, of Privis Lovitz, we are not doing that on this run. Instead, go back and watch the, uh, the no healing run. Where we cleared out all of the bandit camps, but I do have a utilitarian purpose for those cooking pots to use myself during the battle. So I'd rather not poison them. Yeah. 
and being the glass cannon that we are i have a feeling it's gonna call come with a lot of pain if we get hit once by a cumin and they all have archery skill uh it's it's not worth the juice is not worth the squeeze to clear out the camp so we're just gonna do our standard run through see all that we can go back ask for as many troops as we can and try to knock this run fight out of the ballpark yeah. 300 hours in the first week it was out holy shit i didn't think there was that many hours in the uh in the week isn't there only like 156 hours in a week you somehow went back in time and redid yeah. that first week <laughs> that's impressive yeah. You doubled the time in one week to play it. You'd think you'd have done something more productive with the uh, with the power of time travel, Latrodon. Kind of, kind of ashamed in you that yeah. you know world hunger isn't fixed when you have those those kind of superpowers. Oh God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe it was a hundred. <laughs> I was gonna say, everyone, we got a fucking superhero with us. But yeah, no, I know what you mean. I know exactly what you mean. Because I was the same. I was in the same boat. I, I played nothing but this. Everything else in my life took a backseat, and I just played this over and over again. Let's try to get a, a couple of hits in at least. Boom! Oh no! No! What a stinking shithole. Wait a minute. I, I did not mean to go into this cutscene. What the hell? Well, fuck it. We'll roll with it. Hopefully it keeps us mounted and keeps the pole arm in our inventory. Do you have anything to say? I didn't do nothing wrong. Let me go. I didn't think this cutscene would still activate. I heard you had some trouble with our human brothers. He's that fight. His friends killed two men. It's a thief's dog, sir. Don't listen to what they're saying. <laughs> For the last time, Sigismund's mercenaries are guests in our camp, and we treat guests as our own. We are the guests of 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 our own. How do you want to punish him? Yeah, some have. Uh, I know ESO Danny has, Roxy over at Sexy Biscuit has, and I think Resonant Gaming already has, so they already have some content that they're going to release on Thursday for it. Unfortunately, I wasn't one of the lucky ones. I feel like I might have been able to reach out and maybe ask, but I didn't know anything about it. Uh, first time I heard about it was from Roxy, and I don't know. I, no I'm not anywhere near as big as any of those we creators. One so one army. I don't know if so it would have benefited them that. as much to let me in on it, but who knows? I will I will tell you right now, when they announce it, I will be reaching out to them and asking for early access so I can start, you know, whenever it comes out, I will be asking for early access. Oh, God. And, of course, there's no horse. Oh, God. Oh, the runs runs dead. Runs dead. Where is everyone? Get on the horse. Oh my god. How did we survive that? Oh my god. Holy shit. A handful of men Oh that that could have been so bad. That could have been so bad. We're out of here. Oh, we are so out of here. We we can get a couple hits off. Fuck it. I'm here. Oh, we totally whiffed that one. Yeah. Oh. Oh god. Jump, 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 jump. Thank you. Nothing. We don't have anything here. Oh my god, that was a <laughs> my fucking heart is pounding. Oh god, what a terrible strike. <gasps> he died from a heart attack. Oh, 
Oh, we're still in battle. Oh, we're out of here. We're still... We still have aggro. Yeah. Okay, that, that's all I dare to do. <laughs> that's it. That's as much action as I dare to get away with, because we don't have a save right now. That's it. That's it. We we got a couple kills. You know, we sabotage them a little bit. A little bit. That's it. I'm not dying to that shit. For those of you who thought that the run was dead, yeah. don't know who would think such a thing. I proved you wrong. Yeah, enjoyed, not wasted. Farkle is amazing. I feel like Farkle... If this yeah. game was more popular, uh, and, and it was, I think they're at 6 million units sold and still counting, and I think they're going to probably sell a few more before the actual KCD2 because it's going to bring a lot of attention. I think Farkle to this game was a lot like Gwent was in Witcher 3. Like, Gwent itself became its own series. That's how popular that game was, and yeah. I'm, I'm with that. I've probably spent about 100 game hours playing Gwent in Witcher 3. Like, that game is absolutely incredible. To the point where it became a mobile game spinoff. I feel like Farkle could yeah. be the same. Tell me right now, honestly, if they came out with a Farkle minigame yeah. that you could have on your mobile, that you guys wouldn't download it. Even if it was like five bucks, I would 100% buy that and just play Farkle fucking around on my phone. Th that could be such a big, big thing for him. And Latrodon, I'm in the same boat as you. I bought this game twice, too. I have it for my uh, PlayStation 5 or 4 when it came out, and now it's yeah. on my PC. So I've rebought the game twice. I think the only other game I've ever done that with was, or two other games, was Skyrim and Grand Theft Auto 5, but that's only because both of those were across, like, three separate platforms. Yeah. How he died. All right. Now. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I have. I have the physical copy here as well, and the artwork on it is absolutely incredible. But yeah, that's the original. And then also I have the posters. I bought those. These are metal, and these are awesome. Um, but yeah, those were like 10 bucks a piece or something. And I would definitely get a lot more artwork. What I really want is once that reveal trailer for KCD2 comes out, it'll be cool to have like a like a big banner or something. I, I I love just having artwork from games. I think some of it is beautiful. Some fan art is really cool. I'd have to look at getting, you know, licensing and yeah. buy that. Uh, but there's some beautiful fan art out there. Raza, no, you're right. Um, and I think they do have Farkle sets out there. Like, you can buy the six dice and, like, a cup. I think Roxy has has a Farkle set. But I just mean, like, online. You can play against UI or imagine playing against a friend if it was a mobile game. Like, on your cell phone, you can you can sit down with a friend and play Farkle against them. Yeah. My God, I would, I would lose dozens, dozens of hours playing Farkle. Or against the UI that's, you know, semi-competent. Some of the <laughs> some of the UI decisions in the Farkle game in the in the base game right here are, are kind of questionable. Very questionable. Very sus, as the kids say. But having a competent UI would be huge. Yeah, I'd probably pre-order the, the KCD2 collector's condition as well. And like I said, I'm I'm really going to push for early access. Like, especially on a channel like this where I solely cover Kingdom Come Deliverance. If they don't give me early access, I, I will be a little bit upset. I'll, I'll feel a little bit down on myself, but I'm, I'm going to push for that hard. And for anyone that was watching yesterday, fuck that Colbin farm. They're getting burned out. We're taking all the men we can. There's a lot of them. 
I couldn't even count them all. Christ. <clears throat> we'll have to gather armed forces from the whole... It's mostly... <laughs> no more. There aren't just... Humans, you say? I took a look at their arms. What about our... There's a few of them. They're up to some... Ladders? On the other... That's about all... That's all right. No, sir. Never mind. You did a good job anyway, and you deserve a reward. But now we must get ready to set out... There's a Farkle online on Android? And don't, you, Raza, don't, don't tell me that. Work. There goes, now there goes my entire week. That's all I'm gonna play now. Not enough of us here, so thank you, but also at the same time, no we'll thank you, time. because... Tell Sir Robert to bring all his men, <clears throat> leaving only a minimum guard at the castle. Now I have even less time. Send a message to now I have even less time. Thank you. Too. Thank you for ruining I'll leave our camp all my free time. Well. we'll need every man we can muster. All right, I'll get going. And be quick. God be with you. Okay, so I do have to make sure that before uh, Townberg does have a. Yes, they do. They have a um. A cooking, or pardon me, not a cooking pot, a uh, bathhouse, so we can stock up on our um nourishment. Except I might not want to. Yeah, I don't want to stock up on nourishment, but I will need health. For health, yeah. we're going to go ahead and actually drop it into a cooking pot. And here's the reason I don't want to do nourishment. With our nourishment at 100, if I want to use my strategy of the cooking pots in Privis Lovitz, it's going to make us uh, uh, too full. So instead, I would rather the marigold in there, eat from that. That's going to heal us back up to 100 health. And then we can buff our stuff for the runt fight yeah. using the pots over in Privis of it. Kingdom Come Revengeance. <laughs> the Revenge of the Cuman King. You heard it here now. I think it's going to be called Kingdom Come Retribution. <laughs> Kingdom Come, I feel quite hungry. <laughs> I could do with a bite to eat. These are all solid names. Kingdom come, Henry has come back to see you. Transcendence. Ooh, I like transcendence. Yeah. You've transcended like that peasant lifestyle. I like that one, Latradon. I like it. If that name isn't solid, I'm, I'm, I'll submit it. Yeah. Get a poll up on the channel. What should Warhorse name their upcoming game? Yeah. Now, here's the problem. I don't know what the health of yeah. this pole arm is, but... Oh, you know what? No, there's pole arms yeah. we can pick up. Oh, hang on. No, 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 no. We don't even got to worry about the health of this one. Because there's pole arms we can pick up along the battle. I know for a fact that some of them use it. And we might even be able to get a halberd. Which is what I'm really after. Wait a moment! You're him, right? Hmm. Wait, I need to talk to you. What are you playing out with that weapon? Uh, Caleb, yes, I did watch WrestleMania. Absolutely one of the greatest main events on night two on Sunday. One of the greatest main events I think I've ever seen. Put that weapon away. Uh, solely because I heard it was going to be a big event with Triple H running it. Um, I don't watch week to week. I don't keep up with any of the storylines, but WrestleMania, I definitely watched and it was Christ. incredible. What are you playing at with that weapon? Um, let's save. Before I lose my temper and call a guard. And let's go. Lord be praised. What brings you here? <clears throat> we do need a bow to kill the archers. Here's the thing. Uh, I don't think we actually have to kill them. And that's why, um, I'm kind of going with a strength by numbers. Because I don't think that they'll kill enough of them. To actually affect the battle. 
Sir Rodzik sent me with an important Here we go. message. He asked for reinforcements. He needs more men? What's going on? The bandits and humans are The poor alarms are privacy of it suck? They're preparing mm, for something. Maybe. I think Sir I've Rodzik seen some good ones. On them, I think have I have, have seen some good ones, but hey, I could be wrong. I don't know what they're up to. So it's worse than... Sir Radzig said to... What? We've no choice, sir. Sir Radzig is leaving his camp almost empty as well. All right, then. Would you lead my men there right now? Yes, sir. May God be with you in battle. May the Lord... Work. Yeah, night one was a little bit disappointing. But I think it's because they were building up for night two. Um... You know, and they delivered. I love how here everyone's... We really don't look like we belong, do we? Everyone's like fully, fully decked out, and here we are as a fucking hobo. And right under our noses. We'll just have to find out, but I don't think we will until after a battle. If we don't deal with them now, who knows what they'll be capable of. Oh, really? They don't do any damage? We might just hold on to the spear that we have then, but I have a plan. Never say that I don't have a plan. Now we'll have to advance cautiously. I need you to tell me how it looks around the camp so I can decide which side to lead the attack from. Sir, that's a big responsibility. I, I asked you a question, boy. You've been there and seen everything, so speak up. There are three ways to get in. Let's start with the direct route. That, that path leads round their battlements. It's a good thing you're here, Henry. We'll have to try another way. Hey, Caleb, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, have a good day at work. Um, the rest of the, like the, the live stream will be up on the channel if right, you want to finish it out. But hey, thank you so much for stopping in and interacting. I really appreciate you. You have a good day at work, buddy. We'll call the alarm before we reach the camp. Take save. So. We just saved. What about the last approach? It's narrow. It's not an easy decision. And you'll be suitably rewarded for your efforts. From what you say, the route over the bridge is with the help of Here we go. Pribislavits. We'll approach from the south and storm them over the bridge. Form up. Forward march. Let's go. Let's do this. Still got our fucking torch. <laughs> you just see a naked hobo running at this camp with a torch and a pole arm. <coughs> oh, God. Please don't shoot me. End this battle before it even begins. Here, you guys, be my meat shield. Protect me. Some of you take the left flank. We'll attack in two places at once. Protect me. Shields overhead. We're just gotta take it the car coward's way out here. See, that guy has a spear. Is that is that just a hunting spear? Come on, Dad. We got him. Wait a minute. Are we able to do longsword combos while it's equipped in one hand? Don't pursue them. Stay in formation. Hunting spear. Yeah, fuck that thing. Especially now. I wonder if we can do that longsword combination that we know. How awesome would that be? Oh my god, I'm gonna try it. I am gonna try it. If we can do longsword combinations while this is equipped in one hand, that is so OP. Oh god. No, don't you hit me. No, we can't. But it's okay. How does that miss? Oh, but we can do master strikes. Yeah, he was not ready for this hobo. And fair warning, my game almost always crashes at least once during that scene. So if it doesn't crash, that's a good day. But here we go. Everyone, cross your fingers. <laughs> Hold your breath. It's going to be a good day. It didn't crash. Almost always, at least once it crashes during that moving scene. The RNG gods were kind to me today. I guess I prayed to them enough. Nope. Oh. 
Never say never. Here comes the loading screen of doom. You guys didn't pray enough. Made it through. Okay. Uh, these archers set that on fire. That'll draw them down. And so far, we haven't really taken any damage, so that's good. We're gonna we're gonna get to the run fight with full health, hopefully. What the fuck are you doing? You want to get in there and do something, or are you just gonna stare? Hey, get into the fight. Do something, you motherfucker. Okay. If you're not going to help us, you're going to give us XP. Lazy son of a bitch. Can you believe it? I want to preserve a little bit of the durability of this thing. Oh, God. Okay, so overhead swings are not viable with this when there's an overhead obstacle. But that's okay. There we go. They're running. And we can use this as an opportunity to get some gold. None of them have any gold on them. What a bunch of broke fucks. None of them have gold. What up? Die. Yep, no. We can't we can't gold mine. Wishful thinking. There we go. Uh, are we still at 100 health? Oh, I, I don't have a way to check. <laughs> Henry got his torch and pitchfork. Okay, so this is the place where I think we pop a buff, or a couple buffs. In fact, let's head on down to this one, and we can pop like a... Let's see, drop into the pot, and we can pop in Aqua Vitalis. And eat that. Wait, what? It didn't it didn't proc the Aqua Vitalis? Huh. That could be a problem. Let's try with the cooking pots up here with the Bevov's Rage. It's kinda weird that it didn't it didn't give me that buff. Maybe that one it's unbuffable. You guys are doing great by the way. You keep it up. I'm I'm gonna be looking around for some food to eat. Don't mind me. Let's try a different one in here. Maybe the Bevov's Rage? Oh, wait, no, we didn't even drop the Aqua Vitalis in there. We can't drop potions in these. Why the hell not? Yeah, we're not dropping the potions into them. Well, there goes that plan. I could have sworn that we could drop potions in these. I guess not. Agility and defense. Come on, drop that in. No, we can't. Okay. That's good to know. Uh, I guess in Privislov, it's we can't drop potions into the pots. It can only accept uh, poisons. So we don't really have a way to heal or buff uh, for the runt fight. That's okay. We should still be okay. We do have to worry about those archers, though. They are still shooting, and they could take us out real quick. No, 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 no. Don't get involved here. There we go. Nice and quick. I was just trying to help the men out. There we go. I think we're through. Oh, those archers are 
Eyeing me down. Sir, oh no, more reinforcements coming. What the hell? See a post? Defend this fucking hill. You Hold your ground. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't have a way to take them out. We'll just have to hide. Oh, that's a lot of them. Oh god, we have to help, I feel like. I feel like if they kill too many, we're gonna fail. There. We'll go for the lower armored ones. Oh, oh no! Oh, there we go. We got reinforcements as well. Thank God. There we go. We're out of the fight. What, uh... Fortunately, I don't know what my health is, but... Ah! What the hell? Oh, okay. They're not here to attack. I was like... <laughs> they they bypassed all the soldiers just to come for me? All right. Run fight time. Now, I'm going to have to be quick. I'm going to have to look down real quick and pick up my pole arm. Preferably without getting hit. So this isn't a foregone conclusion by any means. Here comes this dirty hobo. Stand your ground, you dogs. Drive them back. Okay. You gotta be quick. Oh, he doesn't drop it if it's one-handed. He does not drop it if it's one-handed. And we can master strike. Oh, Runt, you are so fucked. Who said Runt was hard? Wow. This is easier than I feel like normal gameplay. All it takes is a bit of glitching. Woo! Was that not the easiest run fight yet? God. Yeah, no armor. Where do you get that sword from? And why is he still naked? <laughs> Imagine the embarrassment to run. He's getting fucked up by a naked peasant with just bomb brace. <laughs> the humiliation. Yeah, you probably deserve that. We came naked just for the embarrassment. Where's my sword? What have you done with it? Talk, you bastard! Tell me, do you hear me? Tell me what you've done with it! I, I think at this point, yeah, the hobo with a spear does it again. The pitchfork and torch Let's idea see seemed to work pretty, pretty incredibly. Not gonna lie to you, I'm pretty shocked about that one. You took him down. That was on your own. Comically easy. Well done. Nice work. You surprised me. He was a mountain of a man. He was the one who attacked Noyov. See, boys and girls, this is why you sword. exploit games, because it comes to my mind. stuff like this. What did he tell you? taken him alive the executioner might have gotten more out of him oh well these things happen in the heat of battle anyway we found a trunk full of coin down below someone was paying this gang very well there were some of Sigismund's barbarians among them I don't think we've seen the last of this whoever engineered it was highly placed they won't give up after one defeat that this is a W was just a pawn I'm afraid you're right, sir. Well, lad, uh, we live to fight another day, eh? Live to fight another day, indeed. <laughs> 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 
guilty. Henry's combat ability even makes him sick. He's so good at combat, he just, he can't even believe it. Yeah. Now, put it all behind you. A decent Christian shouldn't dwell on such horrors. I beg to differ, sir. I never want to forget this. Me neither. The time has come for those horse sons to pay for Remember the time that Hobo Henry You're fucked right, up the, uh, the, the leader of the bandits with nothing but a pole arm and a torch. We'll meet later in the upper castle. Never forget. And decide what to do next. Come what may. Oh, here we go. Is a friend indeed. That quest isn't really going to do us a lot of good since it doesn't auto equip that armor, but still, it's nice. I will make you pay for this. Something with the stew in the it's camp wasn't right. Yeah, you're right. I don't know why it wouldn't actually drop. Maybe it only accepts poisons. Yes, I guess that that has to be what it is. Uh, those those cooking pots are programmed to only take poisons and doesn't let you actually put buffs in there. So that was a little bit disappointing, but hey, we got through it. Uh, how long is the stream going to go for? I'm thinking maybe one or two side quests and we'll probably call it for the day. Um, I have some more stuff that I need to do and I actually have to get ready for work. So again, I'll say this. I apologize if you've already heard it. So uh, I was able to originally I was going to stream all the way through till Wednesday, but I was going to have work on Thursday. Someone uh, offered me the chance to swap. So tomorrow I'm actually going to be working. So no stream. But that means I have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday off. So we'll pick this up on Wednesday. And then on Thursday, we'll stream more of this. We'll be live for the Warhorse Studios announcement. Yep, no more spear. The spear was a casualty of war. Okay, well, that's okay. Spiro was a, was a good, faithful companion as long as it lasted. But unfortunately, he is gone. I salute you, Spear. You've you've done your service to the Lord of Ratai well. R.I.P. He was a good little guy. I'm gonna miss him. Uh, where can I get another one? So I think the only other one we can get is probably a Halberg um, from the Upper Armory. I'm checking right now to see if these ever respawn. My guess is that they don't. This is where we got our original pole arm is in this. Um, nope. See, they're, they're gone forever. Okay. It's been, it's been officially confirmed. I've been checking consistently and those are gone for good. So those do not respawn. There's a couple more places we can actually still get pole arms. Um, which we might have to take advantage of right now. He served us well. Let's take a moment of silence to mourn the spear. Everyone bow your heads. Flour, egg, salt, yeast. Let it bake a bit. Thank you. So these pole arms should still be around. Um, so it's not completely lost, but I don't think we need the pole arms for the side quests. Uh, the one that I really want to do, I want to help out Herman, the executioner. So we don't need a pole arm for that. He stood up straight so well. I know he was a good little boy. He was, he served us with honor. It was, it was quite something. He did us proud. Hence, no more. Yeah, random encounters can do well. I mean, we, we can probably go out to uh, Ratai, or pardon me, Scalets, and I think most of them spawn with a uh, with a pole arm. but we'll have to look out for uh, random encounters. We'll have to get one that way. Um... But for now, let's go visit Herman, and let's also check and see if any other side quests might have spawned. Uh, we'll, we'll stop by the inn and ask what rumors he might have heard. You know what might be fun is if we try to do some of, um, 
some of Bernard's uh, ruin quests. We'll definitely need a pole arm for that, but that could be fun. Taking out some bandits. Jesus Christ. Getting a little bit. Let's you know see. If there's anyone around here who could use my help? Aye, there could be something for you. It might not be to your liking, though. <laughs> okay, so the executioner. Of course, folk here don't want to. That you should be it. Mm. You know what we haven't done on this run, which doesn't look like we're going to be able to. I want to play. Someone had mentioned it earlier. I want to play yeah. some Sparkle. I, I don't know what it is, but now that we ace that battle basically with flying colors, yeah. I think we should reward ourselves with one, one game of Sparkle. I'm feeling lucky. I'm feeling good, and goddamn, I love that game. Especially since, uh, um, it was mentioned to me earlier that there is a mobile game. I have a feeling I'm going to be playing a lot more Sparkle in the near future. Favorite character in KCD? Uh, probably no, Hans Capon. I mean, Henry is the obvious answer, so obviously everyone likes the main character. I like Hans Capon for two reasons. One, his dialogue is funny as shit. I'm feeling lucky today. How about and you? two, Dice? he has probably the best character arc progression in the whole game. Like, he starts off as the most hated guy. And then he turns into the most lovable guy in the entire game. So, other than Henry, probably Hans Capon. And this guy's good too. He's got a bunch of loaded die. This is gonna be a hard one because we also don't have that perfect throw perk. And yes, Olaf, can we please in the in the follow-up game get more than a hundred Roshan bets for games of Farkle? I want to be able to bet my entire life savings on one game of Farkle because I'm a degenerate gambler, and I just want to put all or nothing on black. Boom. Father Godwin, Father Godwin's a good solid option. I wish there was more that we could do from him, with him. But yes, Father Godwin is pretty, uh, yeah, Godwin's a goat. If he had a little bit more, I feel like it would be up there for me. I, I think just because we get so much Hans interaction, that might be why. Father Godwin's a, a good solid option. If they don't expand on his on his story arc more in the second game, it'll be a travesty. He's You're he's one of the most loved start. characters. Kingdom Come That's New it. Vegas. <laughs> they just have us on the Prague Strip. Hmm. Running the gambit with Farkle. Oh God. Your turn. Here, just when I thought we were getting ahead. Motherfucker comes back with a 1500 hand. Oh, and we are ahead now. Oh, hell yeah. Hanush is pretty underrated, too. I'd say my favorite cutscene character is definitely Hanush. Hanush's cutscenes are pretty hard to beat. That's with awesome. him just cussing and swearing all the time. My lord, I have to tell you, we are in shit. Deep fucking shit. Or all his little sound effects. Maha. He's underrated for sure. Cutscene wise, Hanush. Uh, gameplay wise, probably Hans Capon. Finished. Nicodemus has the corks. He can be funny. Oh, is that a W? My man. My man, Henry. Shit. Yeah, that's right. Feel good about yourself? Good help. Alrighty. Off to the executioner. Let's get him some poon. Get the executioner laid. Maybe now he'll be a happy executioner. And unfortunately, we did miss the tournament while we were at the battle. They're back here pretending to fight. We were actually fighting the good fight over in uh, Privislovitz. 
the Farkle World Championship in 1403. I feel like we can make a pretty decent run at that. Get some loaded die up. Be hard to beat Henry with a with a pocket full of lucky die. Even without that perk. That perfect throw perk. I feel like a handful of lucky die and the game is pretty much won. Or odd die. Odd die is probably my favorite over lucky die. Because it almost guarantees you a one, three, or a five. Threes don't do you a lot of good, but the ones and fives, they'll keep you alive. Yeah. Peshek was underutilized. I agree. Maybe he'll have a, a follow up role in the second one. Learn how to ride a horse, idiot. That's not nice. We're here Last to help you. Enough for you, was it? Come back for more. What? Oh, that's right. We fought him. No, I've had enough. I don't doubt it. What do you need then? Oh, you there we go. Girl crying <laughs> I executed her husband. He's like, what? "What's up? What? What, what? What do you want?" No. No, not like Squaring that. up on us, and then he's just lot. like, uh, I'll she tell you all my life's coming. problems. So then That's all it took. Folk would like to drive her out of town. Why? Do you really have to ask? Is it really that bad? I'm not complaining, mind. They might look sideways at you, too. And that's what she's afraid of. Exactly. Doesn't that crying girl have any kin? None she knows of. You could help her, though. Me? Alishka has no family. Yeah, Herman her did have a happy ending. Literally. A Nobody happy ending. Me, but you could find out more. What? I do. I wonder if he had what to pay extra have? for that. A lot. Most of the... That doesn't sound... It's... How can I... I'm sorry, I'm such a child. All right. I hope some do. Uh, I definitely think there's going to be a bunch of new characters, but I hope some of them make it. I'm not asking for all of them, but I feel like Don't some will make it into KCD too. Can I? <laughs> Even if it's just like fan service, like little little appearances, no, like maybe in a cutscene or something, I feel like that would be enough. Yeah. That's all I need. But imagine the pop if you're in a cutscene and you see like Peshek walking by or like say something, you're like, <gasps> be amazing. Yeah, love to see Herman. See, I don't know how they're going to write that in unless they plan to include Ratai as well. Yeah. Which I'm hoping they do. I hope they do something similar to KCD, uh, the Red Dead Redemption 2 where they include some playable areas from the first game. Like, it would be amazing to see if in like 10 years what Ratai looks like in, you know, 14, 13. Uh, yeah. Maybe not much different, but still, I mean, that was such a such a treat in Red Dead Redemption 2 to see yeah. what, uh, what uh, Black Reach looked like in... Red Dead Redemption 1 compared to Red Dead Redemption 2 when it was still, uh, still getting built up. Be awesome. Unless it's a prequel. Then, then we might see Ratai in, you know, 1393. Bela. I get distracted so easily. Hans will definitely be in it. Uh, and the only reason I say that with certainty is because they were both seen filming lines. So I know for a fact that Hans Capon's gonna be in it. Oh, Black Reaches in Skyrim? What am I thinking of? Blackwater. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, Blackwater. Not Black Reach. <laughs> Good day to you. What do <laughs> Got you my mean? RPGs mixed up. Do you know Eliska? The wife of the man who was hanged? Oh, no, it's not Blackwater the either. Oh, where's now? in Red Redemption 2? Where do they do that, um... Oh, life can be cool Where do they do sometimes. that robbery? Was it Blackwater? And you know she has kinfolk somewhere around. How should I know? Now it's been a minute since I played RDR2, so I apologize about that. If Eliska stays with the executioner, it'll end up being your problem anyway. Christ, oh, I'll... Thank you. Good luck to you. Go back up to this, uh... 
Where the fuck is the scribe? Has anyone ever seen the scribe anywhere but laying down right there? The one time we need him, he's fucking up and about. Maybe it's because we gave him that embrocation potion, but... Where the fuck is he? Is he downstairs? I've never seen the scribe anywhere but in that bed. What? Everyone, stop. The scribe is up doing work. I, I, I feel like I need to screenshot this moment. I don't think anyone's going to believe me. I've only ever seen him in that bed. This is... My God. What are you doing? He's going to hurt himself. This is the most activity I've ever seen him do. Look at him. He's writing. He's sitting down vertically. Poor man's going to hurt himself. My God. I, 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 I dare not, like, speak to him. Is, it possible is, is this going to, like, break the game? Us talking to him while he's awake? Of every surf? For Christ's sake, they breed like rabbits. But, but I thought that in the rat house, though, in, in, in the books... This is amazing. Boy, Fuck that run fight. This is now the highlight of the day. The scribe in Ratai is up and working. In other words, I bet none of you have ever seen this in your playthrough. Don't keep records of serfs. Elishka won't be happy about that. Elishka? You don't mean the one who married in Well, not Elishka. anymore. Family. Now Captain yes. Bernard's the lazy piece yes, of shit. You know this one apparently gets up. I used to play dice with old Mishek years ago. Didn't think I'd ever son. see the day. A nice, polite lad. See, and we always thought he was bugged. All he needed was a, like a little bit of uh, embrocation potion, and apparently he's up and about. Oh, uh, you know, he's he's quite tied up these days. Well, if you see him, tell but him I'm... to swing by. And where are the Mishaks living now? A stone. Thanks. Farewell. There we go. Yeah, my God, sir. I commend you. Don't work too hard now, you hear? Never thought I'd see the day. Now here's the real question. Do we kill the family? Do we kill those pricks or do we let them go? Leave your votes down in the comments. Yeah. It has to do some. It has to be something with that embrocation potion. If you give him the potion of embr uh, embrocation, he must actually get up and do some work. I don't know how long it lasts, but that has to be it. I've literally in four thousand something hours, I've never seen him anywhere outside that bed, ever. Kill. <laughs> That's a pretty common answer. How do we kill them? Oh well, we I guess we can uh, we can stealth them. We don't have a pole arm yeah. right now, so we can't uh, do that. But we do need to build up a little bit more stealth XP. Latrodon, from what I hear, the Switch version is pretty good. I think Roxy has been uh, streaming on solely Switch, and I mean, you know, it doesn't have the same graphical integrity as some of the PC or the consoles, but I mean. For the fact that it's on a Switch, it's pretty yeah. fucking good. Um, yeah. Now, the thing I'm finding out in my comments, actually, is a lot of the, like, glitches, if you will, have not poured it over all that well. Because I've had some comments on my best armor video that um, they're not getting the same stats on the Switch as they do in uh, in consoles or anything else. So there is some drawbacks to the Switch version, I'll say. But so far, as far as graphically, it's it's just amazing that a handheld anything can support this game. Quite incredible. Big shout out to the developers, because it wasn't Warhorse that actually ported it. Uh, I forgot who what did, but it was a different company that Switch ported it. Uh, it can actually be played on the Steam Deck. If you have a Steam Deck, uh, it's already ported over there. I've got information. Or it can play on there. <laughs> Elishka's fine. Never heard. Hang on. Uh, 
I'm gonna buff my speech. Because I want to pass it and then kill him. There we go. We got our bard potion in. Saber. That's it. Thank you, uh, Raza. Yeah, Saber Interactive. They ported it. Uh, Warhorse didn't have anything to do with it. Or, you know, they kind of gave him the licensing and stuff, but Saber Interactive was you the ones that ported good. it over to Switch. Elisca's part of your family. And she I won't. I could make it work. Really? Your son's widow. What do I... She could help you with this the This should pass. A bit of help would come in handy. Send her here, then. That sounds quite... And if I hear a peep out of her, I'll take a stick to her back. Oh, will you? Okay. Let's make sure the husband doesn't walk in. Hey, buddy. Oh no, he he resisted. How the hell? Oh no 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 no. This is not gonna go as poorly as our last hand to hand interaction. He's no cumin. I've grown since then. My powers have doubled since the last time we met, Count. And this time we kill him. I don't know if we have enough strength to actually, uh, to pass that one, but we are going to kill her. Yeah, don't worry. Your husband's alive and well. You're stuck in the animation. Come here. Let's take her on over to, uh, our favorite little spot to hold her. There it is. Drop her in there. Now, does she die? Does she die from drowning? Or what's she even going to be able to do when she gets up? The barefoot stomp? Yeah. <laughs> she might die in there. Let's find out. But if she does get up, NPCs can't jump, so she might just be stuck in there. Would she not? Unless she glitches out of there somehow. That should pretty much take care of her. Let's see. I just saw the prompt. Yeah, we wash ourselves with the blood of our enemies. There we go. Mmm, delicious. <gasps> no, she's not dead. You guys see that real quick? It, it gives us a prompt to kill her, but it's also unavailable. She might just stay in there forever. I'm game to find out. Let's see what happens with her. <laughs> Henry's skin on his feet is thicker than any arm. It's like dragon hide. Hmm. I'm wondering if the move is to take her out of there and then kill her and then put her back in. We can't have any witnesses. But I am also curious to see if she wakes up, what the hell she can even do. My bet is she stays in there. Another Sassau Monastery? How many bodies can we fit in here? I think there's only two that we can even put in here. You know what? Let's kill this old hag. Let's get her out of here. We'll kill her. And we'll drop her back in there and we'll we'll help her rejoin her, her husband. They can be very, very comfortable together in there. Alright, 
Let's get her back in there. Now that she's dead, and let's go, uh, let's go reunite them with the husband. You know, they say that couples that die in a, uh, uh, washing trough together go to heaven together. So, this is actually us just, uh, helping her out. So she can see heaven with her husband. Henry's a murderer. Well, I mean, we knew that. Have you not watched the rest of this stream? We've killed, like, hundreds of people. No. <laughs> well, that's two. How many more bodies can we fit in there? Now you guys got me curious. That's two. I mean, they don't fit great. But they do fit. Aw, oh, it's like they're kissing. Where, where else can we get some bodies around here? This, this question needs to be answered. Where can we get some more bodies to fucking murder? I think there's another... That's quite a run. But I think there's another, uh... Another farm up there. And hopefully they don't despawn. I would be so upset if I walk all the way back there and they've despawned. I'm pretty sure they'll stay. But there's another farm up here. We can try to kill some more. And see how many one, yeah. one wash pot or one wash uh, trough. There it is. Yeah. Can actually fit in there. I swear to God, if I walk all the way back there and they've despawned, I'm gonna be so upset. But this is for science. Okay. We need her to come out here, investigate, oh, and you too. Okay. As soon as you turn your back, you're... Yeah, we're, we're gonna fuck this family's whole, whole Saturday up. What's all that barking about? Um, what we can't afford is for either of them to go running, since we don't have a weapon. We need to get them both in one fell swoop, and the key to that might be to take out those dogs. So they don't get alerted. You know, this would not be a bad time for the Amor potion. Or not the Amor. Oh, shit, we don't have any of those. It's the, um... The one that stops dogs from barking at you. Shut up. Shut up. Guys, I'm very sorry. I love dogs. I have a dog. This... Please don't report this to PETA. Oh! Oh, God, she saw me. That's it. That's it. She's got to go. And now we got to take out the guy. That's one. Where's the guy? We got to take him out, too. No witnesses. Okay. And we are tired. But we're not out of it. All right. Let's head on back. Like I said, this is for science. Oh, God. And that dog woke up. I guess we just knocked it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got a good little bit of money on him. What do you have? Oh, pretty profitable. All right. Let's bring him on back to the Colbin farm and we'll see if we can't fill that wash trough up with any more. Seems a little fucked up that we had to absolutely ruin their lives just to, uh, for the science experiment. But hey, That's what it has to be sometimes. There has to be victims when you're when you're going for scientific advancement for the humankind. There's going to be there's going to be casualties. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. That slight bit that we're overburdened might might fuck with us a little bit.
how not to cope with loneliness without Teresa. <laughs> Turn Henry into a fucking savage. Goes around killing farmers and putting them in wash troughs. The title of this one should be, I did all the stupid shit in Kingdom Come Deliverance so you don't have to. <laughs> well, actually, I can see the farm. It's not quite as long of a run as I thought it would be, but it is still quite a run. It's still quite a walk over there. Yeah, I'm over encumbered only slightly, but there's nothing I can do. I can't open my inventory to drop anything. And anything that I put in their bodies is still going to be encumbrance on me. And it's getting dark soon. Yep. We'll visit a bathhouse here pretty soon. I, I don't think it's going to be too, too bad. It's also the, the fact that we're tired, I think negatively affects our um our encumbrance level too speed x yes i do pocky long time no see hey thanks for stopping in how you been man i think you were around for my very first ever live stream if i don't recall i, I don't remember seeing you in uh in the second series or the npc series but yes no i do remember you uh for speed x Let's appreciate the graphics. I know, right? The water detail. Fantastic. I do also, I am running with the HD uh, visuals mod. Uh, it's technically, it's not a mod. It's a, um, it's something you can buy. So technically it's not a mod, but yeah, the HD textures and graphics, I, I am running with that on. I think it only works if you can run the game in at least high. So I think I have it for ultra in this one. Oh yeah, the NPC run was completed a while back. That was uh that was a hot minute ago. Oh shit, hang on a sec, guys. Alrighty. Two bodies are still left. Can we fit a third? We can fit a third. They're kind of out of it. I don't know if they would consider them in it. We, we have to kind of jump on them and fit them in there. Because technically that one's out of it. We, we gotta, we gotta do something there. Okay. He's technically in. Can we fit a fourth? Oh, the NPC run with Punching Ulrich. Okay, yeah, so you were around for that one. Yep, that was towards the end uh, we uh, we got with Ulrich. But yeah, that was the last one we did. This one is uh, no menu or perks. Basically, no pl player menu whatsoever. Hey, yeah, <laughs> basically how that conversation went. They were like, hey, man, what are you doing? I'm, uh, I'm live streaming right now uh, doing stupid shit. What's up, man? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm doing stupid shit in my in my playthrough. This serves no purpose other than yeah. other than uh something comical for me to do, but like I said, this is for science. Alright. If we can fit a fourth, I'll consider that a win. This is gonna be the last one that we do. We'll go get the executioner laid, and I think I might call it for the day. be the last little bit how many bodies can you fit in a trough unfortunately this is all that we have if we had like a mass of people i feel like we might be able to even get away with six because apparently they float up to the top dead bodies do float here so actually we're kind of able to sprint with her we're not over encumbered with her
Yeah, this the sunset and twilight are beautiful. I agree. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I have considered doing an, an, an uh, 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 I can talk uh, an annihilation run. So there's a mod called annihilation, which basically makes all the NPCs unessential. So you can actually go through and like kill Lady Stephanie, Sir Robard, Bernard. Like you can go through and kill them. So kill everyone playthrough of Kingdom Come Deliverance. That includes the uh, the essential NPCs. Because I feel the biggest downside to like a kill everyone in Ratai challenge is as soon as Sir uh, Captain Bernard gets involved, that's it. Because you can't attack him and you can't kill him. But with the Annihilation mod, we can. So that just might be the play if you're doing a, like an assassination run. Download that mod and you don't really have uh, any of those uh, barriers to entry, if you will. Like Captain Bernard or when you're trying to do it in Talmberg, as soon as Sir Robard gets involved, you're dead. You can't attack him. You can't defend yourself. That's a good question. I don't know. Can you kill everyone in Kingdom Come Deliverance and still complete the story? That can be the run. <laughs> we just start off straight out of, uh, straight out of Scalots. We, we max level in Scalots. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that is the series, the Helical. I have not watched Helical in a hot minute. I did watch his Hardcore Henry series. Um, I have not yet started his Kill Everyone series. Oh, you can't? Well... There might be ways around it. Could be something like uh, in Morrowind when you could kill essential characters, but you get that pop-up notification like events have transpired that makes it impossible. Reload a prior save if you want to complete the story. But I'm sure they didn't think that far ahead. It's probably just reload a save while they're alive. Probably just have quest markers up that you can't actually go to. Okay, number four. Holy shit, that is a bucket of bodies, huh? <laughs> and now we wash ourselves in the blood of our enemies. And away we go. So for this, this part and series of Kingdom Come Deliverance questions, nobody asked, but I decided to test anyway. You can, in fact, fit four dead bodies inside of one wash across. You're all welcome. For all of you that didn't ask that question, now you know. Uh, yes, the Thursday trailer. I did know about it, and we're going to be live streaming it on the channel with my reaction. And we're probably going to be continuing this run. On that day, and I, as a part of it, we'll go ahead and watch that trailer all together. We'll get your thoughts, your reactions, and what yeah. we think is to come in the near future from Warhorse Studios. Yeah, Latrodon, that's it. With this character's death, the the threads of prophecy. That's right. Yeah. A man of science. <laughs> what is that what is that meme uh from Spider Man? You know, I'm something of a scientist myself. That's this time we're not the medieval Batman. This time we're the, the medieval Green Goblin. Killing people for science's sake. Oh, I'm retarded. I need to go. Yeah. I need to go back and tell the executioner that he is in fact gonna get it in. Ow. Or someone killed everyone off the map in a single Roman hitman. Oh yeah. yeah. It's so much better when you can see. <laughs> By putting everyone in a bucket. See, I don't know if that'll be a full-on video series, but that could be a fun, like, just messing around live stream. I feel like I can start having a little bit more fun with it. Like, instead of just filming for stuff that's going to get converted to VODs, maybe have a couple days when I only have one or two days off from work. Just get, like, a, a stream series out where it's just... 
messing around like can you do this stupid thing and still still accomplish this or something good day what do you want you're not crying now i'm not it's a bit of a change since my last visit i haven't had much luck in my life that's true so did you find out something about i did i found your husband's father and mother and best uh, cutscene ever willing to take you in but actually uh they died oh my god I don't know how they died. It's a mystery. Could it be my fate to stay? But yeah, they they said that they were willing to take you in, and they just died spontaneously. Definitely don't check the bucket by their house. I'll have another talk with Herman. Goodbye. That is something you definitely shouldn't do. Do not look around. Yeah, I found them dead in a bucket. Shortly after they said they'd take you in, they off themselves and then threw themselves in a bucket. Don't know how it happened. It was incredible, really. Eliska's looking better. She is, but she's not happy. You, you don't Lots even want to turn around to face me? Trials. Indeed. Did you know her whole family was wiped out by the plague? I... Losing your that dry they dies? <laughs> ah, so... Did... I have. I tracked them down. They say they take her in, but I'm not sure she'd do well there. Well, yeah, Maybe it's a bunch of her. corpses. I've heard the way you talk. You know, and it might... It, it was all right. Well, Let's get the executioner laid. What do you have you made your mind up? I can't decide, but at least I'd have a family. Herman could give you a family, too. He's a decent, upright fellow, but he's an executioner. And what's the problem? He's a fine man, isn't he? And he wants you. But did he really say that? He told me he's been in love with you for years. That's true. By all that's holy. You're right. There we go. I'll stay here. May the Lord Get your willy wet, Herman. Herman. You deserve it. Yes. Could I... Can I stay here with you? You mean for good? If, if, if you don't want me to. Right? You can. God, Who is that man in the background? Is that just us <laughs> creeping? So you there's the there's someone here in the background world. that's just creeping on them talking. Is that Herman or is that us? That looked like Herman. There was just a shadowy figure in this doorway. Oh God! Thank you, Hal. Think nothing of it. It it, it did. It it did. Thank Wet you. your blade, Herman. And I want you to have this. Stick God your executioner sword After all these inside. Years, he, <laughs> I don't know. I see. As the woman he loves. Damn right. It was all thanks to us. You better not beat the hell out of us again. Oh, well, that's just rude. Close the door in her face. I know, right? At least I hope he paid to at least watch. <laughs> Be kind of weird if he was just there to, you know, for without paying. Yeah, that's how we got out of the friend zone. Apparently, that's what you got to do to get out of the friend zone. Just kill whoever the hell they are they're with. And then you can get in. That's your chance. And then apparently, hire a friend to go kill her entire family so she doesn't have a choice. You see, we're getting somewhere here. It requires a lot of killing. I'm not going to lie to you. And you may be wanted for murder. But that's yeah. how you get out of the friend zone right there. Kill her man and her man's entire extended family. And you too might get your willy wet like Herman. Hey, lad. Don't you want a little wager on the rat race? All right. So that is where i think we're gonna end it for today um got a lot of stuff done got all the way through privis of it's um and yeah and we will pick this up on wednesday so like i said for for those that weren't around at the beginning of the stream i'm not going to be streaming tomorrow uh i have work tomorrow so i traded off for that day off but we will be back on wednesday we'll pick this up 
from there. And then on Thursday is going to be that big announcement from uh, Warhorse Studios. We're going to pick the run up around 2 o'clock my time. Whatever it is, uh, we'll go ahead. We'll watch that trailer, get some live reactions out of it, and we'll go ahead and continue the run. So hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys all for stopping in. Harahan, Latradod, HS, Packy, Razi, thank you all for stopping in. Um, that's going to do it for today, and I will see you guys on Wednesday. So hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out. Have a good one. Bye-bye.